There we go. Ahoy, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Be a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Partisans 1941 for our eighth stream of this, I believe. And yeah, every time I think we've got our last member, we keep getting a new one. So we'll have to see if that happens again. Yeah, an <laughs> eighth stream? Yep. All right, and we need to we need to set up a defensive position quickly. So, uh, anyone have any mines on them? Right. We have a bunch no, of trip wires. Okay. The first streams of these was only two hour long. Yep. Okay, I'm going to presume they'll be coming down. I presume they'll be coming down these pathways. We've got three mines, so one for each. Only two, oh lord. What am I saying? <laughs> Maybe we saw that length. And we'll get to see if, if Betisov will be able to use his uh, big freaking machine gun for this. Alright, we may have another potential new character from here. Yeah, well, well, we, the Commissar, who very much is probably going to be the newest member of the Partisans. Or at very least, a reoccurring one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Everyone take your positions. Well, do we need to control we... a temporal ca character as we did with the Commissar? Hmm. I I, like I, be... I'm pretty sure he will be returning at some points, at least. Yeah, I, I, I suspect he's going to be a party member fully as such. But I feel like... Temporary ones will be seen early on. Let's quickly put down some more of these. But yeah, I will be, we will likely be reloading to this so we can, well, set these up beforehand. Okay, we have plenty more mines, but we just don't have the time. So let's. Okay, they're coming from there. Let's see, at yeah, least three up, from the looks of it. Yeah, at least it will not be coming at, uh, at all directions at the same time, for that will be annoying. Right. Uh, get in position, you. Okay. Oh god, run around quick, catch this guy in the back. No damage yet! I'm guessing more no. is through luck than anything else. Fet yourself, move around. Battle is yep. over. Never mind. The okay. mine? I don't think we put the mine a bit too close here. Yeah. Yes? Very much too close. Okay, there's more incoming. I, have work to do. Actually, I think yeah, very I think much it to close. Could bite us. What? Well, we're gonna get behind that. Yeah, just in case. Well, it might not hit her. But it might hit the bike. We have a plan. And we the, don't the know if stuff like that can explode. Yeah, by movie and view game logic. It does look like this thing has infinite ammo. Kill the bastards! <laughs> okay, he was basically just presenting himself for death there. If we fail this, we're definitely moving the mines further up the road. I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, oh, they're coming from the other We're side. For a reason. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, probably best to just put them right at the edge of the map. Uh, though I might need to reload just a little bit further back because, well, we were already on the counter on the last save. And I'm pretty sure it went off the moment... It, it started the moment we dealt with all of them here. So if we just leave one of the idiots alive... We should be able to, well, plant our defenses before we start all of this off. Do I get the feeling? 
Yep. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to think we need to go that far, as you said, only a little bit further through. We did see where they were still on the road. Yeah. So you, okay. you're not too far from a good position, just... Uh, five meters uh, too I'm short? Missing. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm ba doing big guessing yep. on the meters uh -huh. here. It's probably more than five meters. Yeah. Uh, We're here for a reason. Turn around, you. Get this off in cover. Also, take a look at that quick. Yeah. Yep. Another SMG for you to use. Also, Angry reload, me. please. Actually, swap over to this thing. Olga can't really take cover at that corner for some reason. No, not that. Probably too many corpses. Death is We're harder to crack than peasant women, eh? Yep, then they set off the further mine. <laughs> yeah, that one just went nope. perfect. No. Let me loot this specific what asshole kind of, here. What kind of town was that? There we go. Ah, a, a just nail. a single freaking bullet. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're coming from both sides now. Oh. Actually, that yeah. one's going to take... They're both... Okay, they're both going to take a while. So, uh, Olga... Hmm. The tripwires aren't the best choice for this, but I think they're the best we'll have at the moment. That should hopefully deal with at least one of them. Zorin... You first get off that thing, and then plant another little potato over here. Okay, Olga. Yeah, again, if we do Pick fail, we have some ideas where to put them this time. Yeah. Let's go. Get behind your gun. Uh-huh. Olga. Get this order. off. Okay. Probably we'll need to deal with these more than these, depending on how spread out they are, and oh, e even more. Uh, okay, yeah, they're very spread out now. Oh. Freaking dog! Do There, okay. Olga, up close. Better sort of getting wounded. Olga, close. Okay, yeah, there's a whole lot more coming. <laughs> Yeah, the early ways we were able to handle just fine, we just, uh, uh the rifles. I start to wonder if we did need the mines right here. for, uh, when there are more waves coming in. Yeah, uh, you've got some mines with you. It's a good thing that I brought so freaking many then, huh? Yeah. No, not the grenades. Uh, mine. I get the feeling that we're coming from the sides of the path now. Okay, Olga. Pull back. We've got two waves coming in from here. Okay, cut this off back. Okay. Uh, get into cover. And heal yourself, Olga. Get over there. We have to take risks. And he has to mm. oh. Okay, so the first the first few we can definitely deal by just putting the 
Charge. We can deal with my fault completely. Quiet. Shut the bastard. By putting the mines on the roads. But the other ones we need we are more spread out on. Or they just run into the mine. I think I group. Amy searching for Why are you there? Just shoot him. Oh. That's that. Okay. Oh. Captain Sorry. Oh. Bravely. It is an honor to battle an opponent like yourself. The time has come for you to lay down your arms and surrender. Or else this lovely young Fraulein will die. You bastard. Counting to three. One. So this is how the noble Aryan soldier wins. By blackmailing your opponent with a child's life. Oh, please, Fraulein. I am not a soldier. I am a mere bureaucrat. You, on the other hand, are a wild animal. So. Please, he has my baby. Why does she have to die because of you? Cowards! What do we do, Commander? That lunatic is going to kill them. I regret that we have no other option but to give in to them. Or else the partisans will lose people's trust forever. Let the hostages go. We surrender. Ooh. What is he doing? They'll never set the hostages free. Come yeah. Down, hero. Okay. Yeah, that immediately ends. <laughs> the gang's all here. Recruit every. Wait. Okay, so he's go he's the last one to join. Yeah, and also we missed. We actually for the first time we think we missed. Four, so yeah. Missed. And we didn't get to loot all the bodies, but still, <laughs> that could have ended a lot worse. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, he does have a point there. He's going to kill them anyways. Well, yeah. What's taking them so long? What if they got into trouble and someone got hurt? And I'm sitting here doing nothing. You're such a brooder, Nelly. They're not even two hours late and look at you. You're already driving everyone mad with your worry. They'll be back. Got lost in their own backyard, I bet you. Or grabbed so much loot that they've had a hard time hauling it all back home. If they aren't back by morning, we'll wait for Gavrilovich to bring news. Then we'll decide what to do. I'm sorry. I just have a bad feeling about this. Okay, and yeah, they don't know what's going on, and our commissar doesn't actually know where this is, I believe. So, yeah. yeah That's what we can do. I feel like there was a jab at you for looting so much. Could be. <laughs> How can no one have noticed anything? If it's like that, we might as well go capture a fascist and make him talk. I'd get him talking. Hush now. I'd like to see you go bag yourself one, scallywag. But it's actually not such a bad idea. Okay, so I think the next mission is going to be capturing an officer. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Look at how much food we have and how much food it will cost us per day. Yeah. It, That's, <laughs> I do like that it lowers when we just don't have people with. Yeah, the, this is like, we will obviously still make we gather more food, obviously. However, it will temporarily be a bit smoother to gather more food for now. Yeah, also, apparently there are Spanish troops here? Okay. And yeah, that should just get us 50, or is that... Uh, oh, it, yeah. Mm. Didn't the, the Spanish for a short time join them? Not sure. Uh, let's actually have a look at everyone's level. Let's see, nobody's really too close to a new level. Hmm. Yeah, you're probably the most useful one to get levels into at the moment, so you go do that. 
And we have 750 here. And the search. Oh, our comrades should have returned from Volkovo uh, a while ago. Something must have gone wrong. We must go there and find out what happens. Okay. Yeah, I did not actually expect for a, something like this to pop up. Uh, let's see, 500. Okay, let's send you two out there and you can smoke some food. Okay. Yes. Hmm. I wonder, would the, would the next mission be delayed if we wouldn't do that mission or something? Or operation more? Uh, let's see. The, 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 the hooch was good enough to send half the troops back to Spain for rehab. The fascists set an ambush in the village. We spotted it in time and managed to escape. We didn't get any information. Okay, so they're actively hindering... <clears throat> okay. Any other tasks then? Trophies, trophies, and continuing the search. Okay, the police say I might know what happened in Volkova. We should get one of them to talk. Okay. Uh, trophies... Square 25. We did use quite a lot of... We did use quite a lot of ammo with uh, Petisov's weapon, so we might... Uh, it might pay to go look for some more of it. Yeah. It, it took us many episodes to actually use a lot of uh, bullets. Yeah. Oop, mission day. Okay, I'm guessing... Okay, I'm guessing in this case we got to choose ourselves when to push things forward by doing those two missions. Oh, hello. <laughs> Someone. Oh, yeah. He... Vasily Kravinovich, finally. Do you have any news? Uh, oh, who's that with you? This is Commissar Nikitin. He was back there in Volkovo with us. He'll tell you the story. Why is he alone here? They all get killed. Last time I saw your comrades, they were very much alive. But Sobel was taking them to prison. That's even worse. We must do something. We must get them out before it's too late. This is why I'm here. I need a volunteer to help me get them out of prison. Grigori, isn't it the very same prison you were locked in? What do you care? Want to sell me off to the commissar? He looks a bit shady if you ask me. Is he even a commissar at all? I think he's a mole. I don't think so. They've not found our base. Besides, you're the best choice. Why not Kulagin? You're better with a knife, that's why. And the tallest walls won't hold you. Please, Uncle Grisha. We took a vow. Didn't you say you had a code? You little rascal. Turning my words against me, eh? <laughs> All right, let's go, Commissar. Don't try anything funny and no one gets hurt. All right, he was told about uh, <laughs> Vasily, the, 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 the contact and such. So, yeah, basically, those missions were not pushing this forward, I'm presuming. Uh, but they did get us extra, <clears throat> extra experience, at least. And nice little bit that they actually did go out to look for them and such. Um, here, look at the party bar. Mm. Yeah. He's there. He's leveled up. Yeah, I know. He's Let's confirmed. <laughs> he, he is a party member. Yeah, and he is the last one according to the achievements. And uh, yeah, sending a commissar and a crook out on the mission. That's <laughs> there's going to be plenty of bickering here. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, reports that Captain Zorin, Fetisov, and I'm not even going to try, were captured. Zorin is transporting the lot to prison. The criminal Morozov, who served time in this prison before the war, has agreed to join Nikitin to rescue their comrades. Well, not so much agreed as more <laughs> all blackmailed. <laughs> okay, everyone else can work on some foods. There. Yeah, you better. Again, ne I think we should never be lazy with the food. Yeah. Lock Just for the chance of it becoming an issue sooner or later. Yeah, from a possible winter. 
And also, okay. I feel like we've been able to afford doing that uh, since, uh, well, we've been very stealthy so far. Definitely. That was the first real combat scenario we dealt with. Like, most yeah. before were mostly just skirmishes. That was just full-out combat. Yeah. We've been very... We, we haven't been wasting ammo. Yeah. We've been very... I know it's a great way to say conservative with the ammo, but uh, they were, they were, it serves as a, a bit of a sour taste in my mouth at times. Yes, mostly because... Mm, yeah, mostly because in politics, conservative could mostly just be replaced with regressive right now. It's, yeah. That's what most uh, quote-unquote conservative politicians typically uh, of these days seem to be concerned with, with rolling back progress instead of, well, being conservative there. Yeah, let's see, yeah. we can't the police side, we couldn't get information from him, seems to be scared of someone else more than us. Yeah, that would be Zobold. Okay, we got the stash. And, yeah, let's just go then. Okay, no third person, but that's probably because we'll probably get, well, the other three. And it's a nighttime mission, okay. He uh, means no third character, he doesn't mean play in third person. I think. Okay, we forgot, to, we forgot to actually empty your inventory out of this stuff. No. Oh yeah, weren't we going to dismantle all our guns? Yeah, we were thinking about it, yeah, to make up some room, since we have clearly more than we need, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, do you dismantle the bad ones? To make sure we can upgrade the good ones. Yeah. Let's see, no reason to bring hand grenades along. But a few rocks and a few... <laughs> a few mines definitely won't... Uh, yeah, won't be a bad thing. You need a knife. Yes, yeah, that's a big knife. Your using. <laughs> uh, let's see. Beyond that, you are good with pistols and SMGs, even though we haven't equipped we you with one yet. Yep. Getting the call. Give me a moment. All right. Okay, good chance that there'll be another di disruption because apparently there should be a package uh, arriving today. <clears throat> okay, um... Fine. I would even say that it would be a very early dinner or something. <laughs> no, not, not that early. Okay, uh, ammo... Uh, this type, and since that thing already eats up like almost two and a half stacks, I'll give you one and a half more. Not that I'm expecting to really be needing it, but still. I actually just go with another one just in case. And let's see. Let's also give you some rocks for distractions. And beyond that, a few bottles. Always have yeah have always been proven useful so far. Um, not many mines that we have left past that, so let's get you some medicine to bring along. Because I very much doubt that Zobel will have been kind to his prisoners. So I get the feeling we may need to heal them up some. I think we both know how infamous uh... Gestapo. Yeah, or uh, during uh, uh, a prison camp and all that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Well, this is one tough stronghold. The battles here were harsh. We could sneak inside through the same breach from the shell that the Germans used. Is the breach still there? It's suspicious that nobody patched it up. They captured the stronghold and moved on. 
Never cared to repair anything. Sobel's been here for no longer than a fortnight. Why? <sighs> I don't like this plan. The breach is too far. I'd rather climb over the gate, find the key, and unlock the entrance for you. We'll have to find a key to the fire escape after that, so same difference, I guess. They also have the file archives here. The fascists keep tabs on the locals. If we destroy it, it'll complicate their job of identifying potential partisans and underground agents. And we cannot afford to get noticed. They see us, we're dead. Okay, so... <laughs> a bit of a waste to bring all of that ammo, but still... Better to have it than to not. Yeah, and I thought to speak this would be more like a stealth mission. Yeah. Some extra so, rocks. I'm surprised they didn't bother repairing. Like, if they're gonna use it, then it's probably good to repair the damages. Yeah, but then again, uh, these people have never been to be the smartest with this, so it's constant uh, underestimating of their no, enemies and such. Okay, gotta be careful of that searchlight. But beyond that, we should be good here. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can sneak in here. And this guy should be an easy grab. Lights out for that one. Okay. Now, does anyone have line of sight on this guy? I very much doubt that there's actually someone in the, uh, or with the spotlight keeping an eye on things. But this game has... Oop. What? How did he get... How did he get spotted there? He saw you. Hmm? Yeah, he, 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 wasn't, he wasn't in the lights. He shouldn't have been able to spot him. Uh, wait. Did it save the equipment, or did I just send them out with nothing? Uh, well, this is one tough stronghold. Okay, I just sent them out with the old. Okay. Nice that it puts a save beforehand, but I would have preferred it... Uh, if uh, it had also put down a safe at the start, like well, it, it, it holds. Mm. Um, okay, now now it's with the stuff uh, we had. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, quick save. But yeah, look, he is. He wasn't. May, uh, maybe it was another case of the body falling close enough or something that it just barely oh, got into his wait. line of sight. Wait, let's see what's going on. Sure, he died there, but that's what not where you were standing. You were standing. Why am I moving my mouse when you're closing it up in my mouse? We were standing further away, so it can't have been that we got too close for his uh, him to spot. And the, the light doesn't get close enough to hear it unless the, the, unless the area it shows. It is a bit bigger, so he could have... And I did, last time I did praise the game for it being a 3D effect and not just on the ground. So maybe he was just close enough to get his head caught in the light or something. Very possible. Either way, this time when we grab him, we dump his ass further away. There. Yeah. Okay. I hear something. Okay. Now we just gotta wait for it. The light to pass, then we grab him, we hide him, and yeah. Hmm. Zobel is a side quest in this? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna suspect that they will not be easy. Probably, yeah. Lights out for this one. Okay. Grab his ass and hide him away. 
Okay. Commissar. We'll have to grab these two at the same time. And after that, I'd say we split up. He goes over the wall to look around there, and you continue on forwards. Okay. Okay. Oh, started rolling when the light came case. on them, they stopped. Now they just go walk out Nothing of the area. Value. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, we we can get spotted if we get too close to Ooh. the lights. Yeah, this is an issue. Okay, I'll return back. Okay, yeah. Of course, there wouldn't be dogs here. Yeah. Looks like they'll be on a long patrol. Mm. So at least we won't have to worry about them for every time. Okay. Get in there. You collect the other body just in case that patrol gets curious or something. Now, how's the situation with light here? We have a big spotlight that's moving back and forth. Hmm. And I think what that guy said, what the, the Russians hate us, well, what do you expect? You invaded them and started killing their people. Of course they're going to hate you, you idiots. Okay. Okay, that dog might be an issue. Okay. okay. Grab him. With... For this one. Okay, grab the body. And then we hide it. Oh, him and ourselves in the bush here. I'm all ears. Okay. Drop that one. Okay, I'm guessing that's the gate door for the, the key for this door here. Ooh, in the shadow. No, not. Okay. Mm. And this is going to be a tricky spot to pass. Hmm. We're dangerously close. Okay. Quick save just in case. Hmm, whatever you hear. We have one guy in there. Our box to mess with. A hiding spot. Okay. So far, no sight of any officers checking in on people. Yeah. So far, the biggest issue is the damn dogs. Yeah. And the patrols. Stop so, playing with the corpses. I would say this, if there were no dogs on this level, I would probably be more surprised since Ooh. that would just mean they would underestimate the area even more. Yeah. Okay, I hope that dog doesn't move around too much. Because, he, yeah, he's already very close. Yeah. Uh, for clarification, for people watching, what I mean is, if, you, if they are smart enough to have dogs, that means they are expecting people to just in case people do dare to sneak through the sit around obvious hole in the wall yeah okay but there's a stash over there we've been missing quickly rush over this won't be safe from the dog so we'll need to move on from here quickly yeah but yeah, I saw a, a stash spot at the very start of the store that we missed. At the... Oh yeah, there is one, something there. Uh, quickly yeah. hide in there. I think there might even be a second one. Let's see, there's that one for... Oh, wait, no, that's right. I think that's okay. actually the, the body of my... Okay, the first one was definitely a stash. The other one, yeah, the other one was a body. Okay, he's, that one still has something on them. 
Yeah, might as well. Who the heck is this? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, and <laughs> okay, so the game just gave us some rocks and a knife just in case we were dumb enough to forget them. Which, well, with the first restart, I was dumb enough to not get. So yeah, points for the game for, well, offering a way for you to unscrew yourself. Yeah. Holy. Quiet. Uh-oh. Okay. Can follow in after them. Okay. Nab this guy. Okay. There was one who came out to check on this one before. And I think that might be the package, so give me a minute. All right. Yep, it was, so should be no more interruptions. That was quick. Okay. Now, there was someone who came out here to check on this guy. So, oh, I think oh. it might be him. Please tell me that's coal and not ash. It probably is coal, yeah. Oop, quickly now. Okay, yeah, I feared that would happen. Okay. Uh... Quiet, cool. So we need to grab that one. Uh, wait. Okay, that was an older auto save or quick save. Ooh. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, we can grab that guy. Or we should grab that guy in here. Uh, wait, he's already coming out. Okay, that tells to me that there is some randomness in their patrols and such, or in their actions. Hmm. But in a way, it's good that he actually came out earlier. Yeah. Hmm. It must, there must oh. be, like, maybe a percentage chance that they'll move to a secondary position or something, or to the next spot. Yeah, this would make sense for... Hmm. Not yeah, everyone being... is punctual. Yeah, it being random would be more like a... It couldn't can be a good thing, but can also be a bad thing. Though there probably is a minimum amount of time that needs to pass between each. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. This guy's an easy grab. Especially someone who can just instantly <laughs> put them out or take them out. Okay. No, nobody should notice if we miss if we mess with this. Okay, what did that do? Turn off the light in the building. Mm. Yeah, don't yeah, think that, so. I'm not kidding. Earlier we could see someone in the room. Yeah, but that was I think of more because we are oh. close. Oh wait, wait, we can still see them there. Yeah. But, but it does look darker than it did before. The enemy's close. And it probably took out a few lights outside or something that I hadn't seen or something. Anyways. Let's have a look around here. There's some goodies to steal. Close. Oh, not out yet. Yep, would have walked straight into the detection range of the dog. Okay. Oh. 
place. Probably isn't going to be safe from the dog. This moles. Yep. Okay. I will. Hmm. I'm gonna quit at least using dogs. Now I now I remove it for. They would have one dog. Okay, this is the breach they were talking about earlier. Oh. No. Oh, they we should be safe in there. Away, it seems. Since somebody is on the tr uh, truck. Yeah, we are trying to fix it. Oh, yes. Okay. Clean it up to use it as a road. Yeah, they want to make sure that the people have a harder time getting in through that. Let's see, this light seems to be going in like a panel like this, or am I misreading that? Nope. Okay, so dogs can sm smell you even in these hiding spots. Will he actually... I think I know. <laughs> yep, okay, so they... On the trail. They can force you out of those. Okay, that is going to be a nuisance, but at least, uh, yeah, I also should have put down a save quicker, but oh well. Okay, at least we now know that as well. He's just immediately coming as well. Again, I should have quick saved earlier, but I guess that also confirms that uh, our other guy is in a safe spot because, well, if he wasn't, the dog would have sniffed him around, uh, sniffed him out a few minutes ago already. Okay. Keep cool. Good amount of loot. Yep, yeah, and going. we get to save. Yeah, he should mm. be safe for those new dogs there. Marksmanship solves everything. It's not marksmanship when you're stabbing someone in the back with a knife, dude. Okay, now what? Which lights go out here? Is it just these? Okay. No, lights out for this one as well. Hmm. Okay, we'll need to keep an eye on the patrol here to see where it is and isn't safe. The hides. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, the dog keeps plenty of distance from this spot. Still need to find... Oh, that guy must have the key. Okay. Now, where is it going to be safe to hide here? I'm guessing this bush, perhaps? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Actually, the dog got close enough to there to smell it. Actually, yeah, it looks like we should be safe here. It's unless he moves to this. Ooh. Okay, that's not going to be safe either, I think. It, more of, if you want to use it, you probably want to very much hug the wall. Yeah. Okay, looks like the light is moving away as well. So this is probably going to be our best moment to strike this guy. He might see us. Okay, just gotta be a bit lucky with the light. Actually, maybe we can hide in there. Yeah, what should we it, it been this far? Cool. Either way, we can probably grab the actually we can probably just hide out here. Yeah. The I just say, make sure that they are not about to return. Okay. Yeah, this should be more than plenty far. Hmm. Quiet. Okay. And the light moves down a bit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that guy just completely missing the fact that two of his colleagues are gone. And yeah, let's see. We're dangerously close. Yeah, don't 
perhaps in the absolute corner there we would have been able to hide there but this bush is going to be a lot better of a spot our actually quick save nobody else here yep. Commissar should have done better God damn it <laughs> uh, okay gosh damn it yeah it was just bad timing. Yeah, I'm gonna put some food into the machine. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this time he started moving earlier. Hmm. I guess that could be some way of manipulating the game a bit into handing you easier kills. Okay. Is it intentional or accidental? Probably accidental. Ooh, ooh, hello there. Okay. Are they? Are they? <laughs> okay, two of them are playing chess and the other two are just watching. Okay. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to get as many kills in this area as we've been able to do in other places but we should still do as much as we can to thin the numbers oh dear. okay the dog keeps plenty distance from here so we should be able to hide over there as well Okay. Yep. Oh. Okay, you come out and head nowhere. Okay. I'm so rest. Lights out for this one. Yep. And just keep out of the lights yourself. Quickly. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're preparing the gallows. So I'm pretty sure by morning our partisan friends would have been hung let's see where's the patrol i think i just caught a glimpse of them there they are okay once they pass by we'll grab this guy and yeah splitting the party probably wasn't the best idea but both of these are plenty capable Okay, gotta wait for them to split apart. One remains in place. Let's see. None of you... Oh, the door's closed anyway, so nothing to worry about there. Okay. Once I mess with that power box, someone is going to come walking over. Gotta wait for these to split. Up. Perfect timing. Lights out for this. Um, grab the body. That, that guy didn't hear or notice that in that kind of room. This would probably have. I'm not be surprised if there's some echo in this room. There's a good chance that some of these have seen combat, so could be some hearing problems. Also, anything in here? Okay, another you mean gun. Like and too many times to close to a uh, artillery. Also possible. Okay, just grab everything else. What are these? Uh, ladder splints. Uh, oh, <laughs> stop hassling me. But can you blame me? It is rather big for a splint. It takes up about as much space as a well, half a, a rifle. Okay. Now, once we're in, actually. Going at this... Oh, oh yeah, this is going to be a good place to get in anyways. 
since we'll be able to mess with a lot of the power. Wait. Why is this room accessible from the outside? This feels is like a design flaw for whoever designed this. Uh, well, it is a fire escape, but it's not a modern fire escape. Like, the uh, one-way doors are much more recent. Uh, uh, not really invention, but... Uh, methodology or something. Whatever you would call it. Oop. Your silence serves no purpose. We have plenty of time. I will get my answers. I always do. It's the law. In the end, if Carl can't get you to talk, perhaps this blonde Fraulein can. Or the girl from the village. What do you say, Captain? I say you won't see the sunrise. You have no idea how many times I have heard this. Mm -hmm. You'll change your tune soon enough. Let's start over. Where is your base located? What? Oh. Okay, I think <laughs> I think the game had a mistake there. In the cutscene, he got forced out of his hiding spots. Oh. Okay, that, yeah, that's that's just that's just stupid of the game. Okay, uh, I'm gonna guess that's an oversight. Yeah. In a design. But also okay. means we need to hide him somewhere else. Lights out for this one. They're close the door as well. Okay. Now pick him up. Bring his bum ass in. Can we still... Okay, we can still search him even after stashing him. Like I said, in a way this good we go to know this now? Yeah. So that means we... For any for future we should be careful when we hide him in closets in case of cutscenes. Yeah. Okay, here we go again. Your silence serves no purpose. We have plenty of time. I will get my answers. I always do. It's the law. In mm. the end, if Carl can't get you to talk, perhaps this blonde Fraulein can. Or the girl from the village. What do you say, Captain? I say you won't see the sunrise. You have no idea how many times I have heard this. You'll change your tune soon enough. Let's start over. Where is your base located? Up your ass. Okay, why does it move over there? For some reason. Or, uh, okay, I think I... Hmm, I think I kind of confused the game a bit by going in through both entrances. Okay. Now, let's start playing with the light some. Okay. Our first... Probably should have done a quick save before I did that, I say but oh well. First victim, but no, it's not our first victim. But, uh... First one to, for, to call for this trap in this building. Bastard's dead. Okay. Take your stuff. Can I grab you? Hmm. Now I I would have been spotted if you know, by that one for turning around. Okay. He might now. be able to grab a few from doing this. Okay. Nobody's going to react to that, or at least not yet. Let's see. Yeah, medic to make sure that he doesn't torture Zorin to death. Can I just grab you? Nope, now he notices the lights are out. They're going to nope. make us stink! Oh, 
Who else wants a nap in the mud? Okay, that uh, almost that's wooden got us floor. caught. That's wooden floor, not nap in the mud. We can put, a, we can let them take a nap in the closet. No, I, I thought with the double closet we'd be able to hide two in there, but apparently not. Oh come on! So be a bit. Actually, no need to hide them in there. We have much more of a playing field right here now. Gonna check on my food. Okay, I'm guessing this will mess with the light in Zoran's place or Zobel's place. Yep. Okay, that lures them over. Okay. Who else wants a nap in the mud? Okay. No, there should be that one other that moves back and forth. I think. I don't think this was the one doing that. No, I. Th that's the medic who keeps going back and forth. Hmm. Okay, did, did we get the one that was patrolling? Or not? Hmm. I okay. think we can move on a bit here then. He should be safe from being spotted. Hmm. Shouldn't really take a chance with that, so let's hide you a bit further back. If we spot the one who is patrolling, well, we will spot them when they show up again. For now, let's get you into a bit more of a secure hiding spot. Commissar should have done better. Everything's under control. There. Okay, wait for that one to piss off. Okay, there's one here that's moving around. Okay. That one's vulnerable. What light is that going to mess with? This one here. I think I understand a bit how it goes with the messing with the lights. It's not that they it's not that they'll react immediately. It's more that they react once they quote unquote see that the light has been messed with. It's so basically when they're looking towards where the light should be. Even well, when they're kind of standing in it. But if they're facing outwards, they don't notice. Hmm. Okay, I think I'll have to. Yeah, I think I'll just have to make a move here. This is your new tie. Lights out for that one. Okay, pick you up. Hide you outside. And let's see. I think we should we should probably grab this. We should grab the medic before we rescue Zorin because yeah, he just moves around so much. Thank you. I'm back. Welcome back. That's an alarm. We don't want to trigger that. Okay, the moment that the medic turns, we move in. This is be interesting to eat. I usually eat a grilled sausage, but last time I went to the store now, I went to buy them and realized, wait, this went out about... Um, Five days ago, so I fed further into the shelf, and the rest were very much either a few days ago or very damn same day. And I forgot um, to tell them. Yeah, one of the local supermarkets here has been, well, failing in keeping track of stuff like that as well. Yeah, no, I said it. Or not, it is not really not, it's been them about yeah. it. Oh, it's all gone. Uh, I can't just go with you. 
Thank you. Uh, I, I misspoke for a bit. It was it wasn't so much that they were failing to well move out material that, or stuff that was over date and such, but more that uh, they basically they with yeah, the people they've been hiring lately to take care of the shelves and stocking and such, as uh, they've been failing <clears throat> because they keep putting stuff in the wrong places. Also, bye bye, Zobel. Yeah, you want to put the things with shortest date at first to make sure it gets sold. Yeah, but a, a lot of, a lot of with yeah, with a lot of people fill it, you know, who fill the shelf, they'll just stick it up. You know, they'll just stick the new stuff uh, up front to just be lazy. Yeah. Oh, I told you, you won't see the sunrise. What about the others? <laughs> we need to find them and get out of here. We're working on it. Can you walk? Not really. I see. I'll we'll have to carry you then. Hmm. Oh, uh, what? Okay, game got confused there for a second. I wonder how... <laughs> Not you. Okay. Mm. That was almost my bad there. Okay. And as I said earlier, it's all right for if you notice these things in your grocery store, people. It's all right to inform the uh, staff. Yeah, because otherwise it won't get fixed. Yeah, for, like, when I did work in the one, I actually would inspect the wares I was packing in for I was very thorough, so I did actually what I was supposed to do. There was at one point I actually noticed some people got told to put up stuff that was expired. Like a dog food in a uh, in a small plastic thing that had obviously turned yellow close. on the plastic wrap and all that. And I was told them, yeah. you're not going to sell that. And I told the boss for the shop, uh, for his, he said, oh yeah, I told him to do that. It's yellow. It's expired three years ago. I'm sure it's just else. Uh, yeah, he, he had a bit of a mixed reputation. Uh, reputation. Yeah. Clear to see why. Like, he was a nice mm. guy and all, but... Um, uh, Not very competent. Okay. Well, he was, the, he was competent enough to run the store in general, but... Uh, some things you did feel like he should probably put a bit more and like I know some things can last longer than the date says on the wrapper, though some things are more sensitive than others. But when you have a dog treat that's uh, usually a more white package and the, the package yeah. has turned yellow expired by three years, then yeah that yeah. I noticed it because I kept putting them into, uh, trying to throw them away and keep finding the damn things in the shelves again and again. And at that at that point, it's more that you should report that stuff. Okay, why are you not? Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably should I have. Think the, I think the commissar is glitched should... out a bit. Oh dear. Oh yeah, I should probably have done that, but the store is over there, it's no longer there, and I know if he's still in charge or not. Okay, he is definitely glitched. So, quick save, hopefully, to unglitch him. Quiet. Okay. Yep. Yep, hit the wrong button there. Okay. Tread lightly. Let's get you out of there. Wait. Okay, for a moment I thought he was still glitched there. Okay. That might Okay, that, that might have been because he was hiding again whilst the little cutscene was happening. Okay. At least we well, at least we should be safe from that now. Now, just got to take this guy out again. Oh dear. 
<laughs> if we had the both of them here, we could have grabbed both of them uh, at the same time here. But I uh, will. Shouldn't have messed with us. Okay, and nobody heard that good. All right. I heard that. <laughs> okay, deal with Zobel again. Lights out for this one. I told you. You. Okay. You're the commander. Take his key. And we might as well hand these off to Zorin again. Okay. <sighs> I'm a bit surprised they, he didn't get, like, a mission inflicted. Uh, mm, Wait, look at his face. There. Yeah, he, he is... I, I like the detail that they actually, well, beat him the hell up with this. Yeah, yeah, they didn't need to, but still. Yeah, th th this game has a lot of detail work that I do like. Some that is, well, good for us, and some that is bad, like dog being able to sniff you out of hiding spots. But, oh well. Um, you do know that's what dogs are for, right? True. But in many of the in many of these kinds of games, hiding in something would, well, <laughs> prevent you from being... from being spotted in hiding spots and such. Okay. Again, no, like... <clears throat> There is definitely ways to lure or trick a dog scent. Though if it smells you recently been there and walk towards the thing like that damn thing you hide in there, a dog will have caught your scent and actually tracked you there. Okay. However, if you if it was an area where they kept the uh, like the fertilizers and such, you know Commissar really strong scents. Then you would have probably been camouflaged from dog. Enemies right here. Okay, I did not expect for three of them to come walking out. A commissar should have done better. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. If it weren't for the undetected bits. Actually, we can probably sneak in. Grab these two. Actually, no. No, no, no. We can't sneak in at all with that guy watching the door. Okay, we'll have to miss out on those then. Nobody else in this hallway. Yeah. There's Olga. Okay. A single bullet off of the... We face obstacles at every turn. Okay. Turn the light off here. Who may have the key? He has the key. So, let's get Olga. What took you so long? <laughs> that's the first thing you're going to say. Wait, that's it? I... Well, it's... I guess it is straight to the point, and you don't want to sit there and do long talks unless there's something very important you need to inform. Yeah. Okay. Grab this guy once he turns. Wait. Okay, now you grab him, you grab him. And quickly grab him. It's <laughs> still on route. One out. Okay. Just gonna sit around. Loot the bodies. Loot the stuff. 
coaching. I need to teach you some discipline. Everything's under control. Another document. We really should check those sooner or later. I get the feeling there's probably something of value in there. Hmm. Yeah, otherwise, why have a guard there? Okay. Open this up. Okay. I, I do like those little bits that they do talk to people nearby sometimes. Okay. Now watch you. Now, can I grab this guy quickly enough? Actually... Gotcha. Really? Well, okay. oh yeah, it's this time to uh, make you fail as quickly as spotted you. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> okay, now they've their numbers have been moving around. Okay, uh, let's try this again uh, then. Wait, hold on. Oh wait, he's he... alive. Did he just turn around or something? There. He was laying on the ground. Okay. I thought he was dead. <laughs> Who there? Shouldn't have messed with us. Okay, got it just in time there, I think. So. Uh, really? All that for six shotgun shells, of which we have, I'm pretty sure, a few hundred? <laughs> Wait, did, did he just go a bit anime? He just sliced through him. They took, took him in just a moment before he died. <laughs> About, yeah. Okay. I would say this. The only character I've been seeing visual glitches it's him we have great responsibility or is he supposed to be telekinetic i very much doubt that now watch him hmm. some bottles okay here we go again bam dead yeah, he, I think it might be a, a minor glitch because he's supposed to move to his target and, and kill him, which sort of glitches out a little bit when the target is moving. Yeah, do, stay funny for that. The only character that has had, been having these glitches is him. Let's see. We have great responsibility. I'll we'll go pick up Zorvan, will you? Well, either he would just start with his knife, if you've seen him do a few times, or he lift up bodies in front of him mid air. Like yeah. levitation. <laughs> okay. These are the other cells to open up. These halls are pretty weakly defended. A good patrol would have someone going back and forth on each side, but oh well. Their stupidity is our gain. Smells like trouble. There's someone with a key over there. We're on a mission. <sighs> yeah, okay. this is probably one of the big issues when you have a mi military so hell-bent of thinking them so su themselves so superior that they don't expect someone to be outsmart them. Yeah. Arrogance so is the downfall of you need? well, anyone who falls victim to it. Yeah, but they're gonna just go laser go, ah, oh, they're too dumb to do that. Fast and they do that just because they knew you gone lazy or too prideful. Or, but yeah. kind of both, prideful and lazy. And that's the third cell. Okay, quick informing. All right. Uh, 
Ah, okay, yes. Boop. Okay, pretty sure he should be in the shadows over there. Might as well hide this one that way quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 hell, oh. Okay, that would have been a perfect moment to strike. Okay, I'm guessing he's keeping an eye on the rations or something. Okay. Dump that I dumbass. I think he was feeding me the box of uh, schnapps. <laughs> if I pronounce that right. Quiet. Okay. We face obstacles at every turn. Okay. Petisov. Not Petisov. Petisov is over here. Okay. We're going to lay an ambush for that guy. He probably. Yeah, he, he must have the key to there. <clears throat> All right, let's see them. Yeah, there's a few guards down here. But beyond that, all um, other threats should be contained, I think. They haven't fixed either of the stairs? Actually, what happened to the stairs? Oop. We have great. Are we just gonna sit around? Oh. Yeah, I think I know what happened to the stairs now. Get out and introduce a knife to his ribs. Okay, I think his final words were a complaint there. Okay. And you don't have room for that one important thing. <laughs> okay, just dump his ass key. down. No, the rest shouldn't be a problem in there. Okay. They're dangerously close. No, you go there, you look at that. Comrades, I knew you'd come for us. It's been long enough. We shouldn't overstay our welcome. I saw an armored car in the backyard. We could drive it through the gates. If we unlock the cells, the other prisoners will be able to escape too. Okay. Fine, people. <laughs> yep. This is a this is a record. Okay, you help with the looting here. Actually, all of you move in here and just yeah. loot everything. I eat, probably if I had a big food. I said I spoke with food in my mouth. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Close. Okay, yeah. we found where the equipment is. This is the first time we had more than four people on a mission. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is everyone's equipment. Sleep side by side here. Okay. Uh, okay. Get this off. And that's not yours. This is, though. I think it's usually like something. Hmm? People may think, oh, we can more than five, four people go up to five, and maybe more? Then this game will be smooth and easier. Maybe, but there's also a chance that he be hinting that the game will get a bit harder. Yeah. Oh, a lot harder. You wanna say something? Okay. Uh, wait, that's... Okay, that was the wrong uh, box, I think. Yeah, this is your box. Um... Okay, we'll have to move around some stuff then, quickly. Uh, who here has the strong back one to make it easier to carry? Okay, you have. Okay, you go pick up Zorin then. Okay. You lot get close together. And let's see. Uh, yeah, Fetisov has the most room at the moment. So there, there. Equip All right. that. So we can't walk at the moment. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, then I can see why we're gonna need five people with this bamboo. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need to carry him. Uh, wait. Okay, for a second there it looked like she <laughs> lost her entire inventory. Yeah, heck. Okay. Okay. Some remnants from there. And them. some models from there. Okay. Oh, they're gonna be so surprised when they see the entire armory has been robbed. <laughs> okay. We'll Including need to burn the, the archive still. Let's see. If we mess with this one, that's going to turn off the lights in there. What's up? Wait, was it a archives in the gatehouse and in the or side building it, here oh yeah it was a side building of the gatehouse so we need to find our way down there okay we need to get everyone to the btr the armored car so that's going to be this one probably okay uh, Wait, first what? off though everyone grouped together BT or the armored co hmm. A threat. I'm gonna guess BT or is uh, not the English acronym. Probably. Okay. Now, Petisov, you're going to be the least useful here outside of Zorin. So you carry him around. Okay. And then these three can work on, well, getting out, us out of here. Okay, why is that area considered laid up? Okay. Did they really do, do a, such a well aim shot they destroyed? I got guess supposedly supposed to be in the door there. Probably. Okay. This would explain why the stairs are such a mess. Okay. We'll grab that one once he comes back. Okay. Quick save, haven't done that in a bit. Probably a good idea. Everything's okay. under control. Okay, once he comes over, we grab him. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You grab that one. Can't you get in there? Or... Okay, he got stuck on something for a bit. He got stuck on that one piece of uh, concrete. Let's do what we have to do. Break something. Okay. No. Let's at least hide these somewhat. Wait. They sleep in a Bedroom with two holes in the walls. A yeah, good chance they don't have too much choice in that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll be going out. We'll be leaving this place with a whole lot less casualties or lower kill percentage than otherwise. But still a good amount of them gone. Yeah. Okay. Awaiting orders. Do, uh, there again, this is a rescue mission. Yeah. <laughs> Bubble text one 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 one. <laughs> okay, that's a glitch. <laughs> yeah, that must be a random glitch. Okay. Also, oh, while we're here. Um, yeah, let's give you that. Okay. 
Now, how are we going to deal with this here? Give me an order. It still says double text. <sighs> I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Hey? Oh, you're still carrying someone. Dump that ass. Okay. These two are going to be a problem. And that's searchlight as well, of course. Okay, but it does look like we should be able to just walk out. Hmm. Yeah. As long as the searchlight and isn't on the, the door, again. those two... Shut up, Fetus off. Shouldn't be an issue. Oh, they, okay, they split off, so we can grab them once they are apart. Okay. Then the searchlight passes over. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that... That was just a perfect little bit of timing there. And here we go into Ooh. the bushes again. You're not even in the bushes, Fetisov, so shut up. Okay. Would we even dare to do double T? Okay. Now we might be able to dare to do a double T. Never mind. Just for safety's sake, hide the body. And we grab him while he's oh, over there. Searchlight or not, he won't be seen by anyone then. Yeah, and I uh, the searchlight is glitched. Uh, how so? Look, uh, look at the searchlight itself. Uh, <laughs> it's missing its pole. Okay, yeah, that is that is a bit of a <laughs> that's a bit of an oversight. Yeah, do we did have the... Actually, maybe have a few bugs on this map. Yeah, is this a rare... Is this actually the first case where we have to deal with some verticality as well? Hmm. I think it is, so that might be well, also messing with this. Okay. No. Nah. Quickly grab them. Oh, nope. Okay, for a moment I for a moment I confused him with uh, <laughs> with our other guy. So that almost was a use of his ability. Wasted. Okay. Take them out. Okay. Now everyone should be safe to come out. Okay. Keep wrapping the stuff. Yeah, me. Affirmative. Yeah, we not. It's a successful rescue mission, and we're not going away from the empty-handed. Yep. And uh. Wait, aren't mm. you supposed to go into the side building? I'm moving everyone out where they're where they should be safe at first. Okay. Now. How many do we have here? We have one, two. Three. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. That is the other entry point. Oh, okay. So. Quickly. Yeah, had we gone this way, we could probably ambush the others a bit easier. Hesitantly, maybe. Yeah. Quickly. Oh. Okay, so we don't have enough time to grab him. Without the other one spotting it. Okay. Oh. He immediately comes out. should have done better. It's pretty risky. Okay. 
Okay, this time that little thing the game does turned against us. Best way I can see here is that we grab him first. Did we just hide in the corner, grab him, then him. And that one will be easy pickings afterwards. Uh, yeah, I feel like once he goes into the room, we kill the, the closest one. Then we go to... No, by the, to time, by, by the time uh, we try to move on, he he's likely already coming back. So well, we need to grab really him first. I mean, like, the last time you may have lost time before you picked up the body. Mm. Yeah, even without that, we wouldn't have had the time to move over into hiding here. Okay. No. Why? Okay, why is the... Okay, it must be because the he's we're close to the uh, <clears throat> close to the map's edge that he did the camera didn't fully move over. Yeah. Okay. And last but not least. There we go. Keep cool. And yeah, it looks like we could have gotten in here through there. Basically, well, <laughs> grabbed him, messed with the lights, lured the other one out, and then gotten the last one. But this also works. Yep. And now, uh, for mm. document burning. And all is. Yeah, that's the other. That's the other side building here, I believe. Oh. Yeah, still good that we well, took those out. Let's give them a second. Okay, Olga, you go as backup to these two. You are good with a knife, but not as good as them. A threat. Okay. Dog. <laughs> what? The enemy's near. Stay low. Careful of the searchlights. Okay. He might Go hide us. in there. We have great okay. responsibility. So Let's going to lure that guy over. No. Okay, no time for a break is what he said there, I think. Okay, let's wait for the patrol to show up again and piss off. Then we grab this guy. And then we uh, get to burning the archive. Hmm. It's a long route for this patrol. So that should mean that it uh, yeah, that should mean that they'll be out of our, our out of our hair for most of it, or for a good long time. Hmm. Ah, there they are. Okay. Some this in the meantime, food. move here. For a split moment, I thought they heard you cough. <laughs> Marksmanship solves everything. Uh, now I'm reminded of uh, with Void Bastards. You, your character can have to trade Smoker and just randomly cough to give yourself away while sneaking. <laughs> uh, uh, there are actually like, uh, some games oh, that you play with your voice. Yeah. Though, with it, with those games, uh, you, you mean games where they listen to the mic and such? Yeah. Yeah, with, okay. with those kinds of games, you could kind of cheat things a bit by turning the mic off or such. 
but yeah. Yeah, do when there is one of them that is supposed to be a horror game, I'm gonna guess you kind of need the mic on to play it. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's an interesting idea, but it's an idea I'm not fond of, really. Okay, hide this guy. Not taking a risk with the window there. Yes, comrade commander. Okay. <sighs> yep. Awaiting orders. Did you just drop your your leader and run off, you asshole? Yes, comrade commander. Uh. I'm ready. Sora is probably cursing under his breath. Uh, probably. Okay. Hmm. I could probably deal with these with a mine, and well, I do have plenty of those with, but I'll still try to play it safe mostly. Okay. Grab that guy. Your eyes pale on duty. Huxmanship solves everything. Okay. Oh, lost two. Hmm. Let's wait with the burning until there isn't someone inside to sound the alarm. Ooh. Oh, there's a bird. Yep, damn it. Yeah, he fell right in front of someone. Yeah, okay, and that is why we quick save. And that's right here. Okay. Pretty risky. Grab them. Up, up, come. It's over for them. <laughs> He's uh, already coming was, over. It was just to say that. Okay. As long as we stay out of sight of the patrol, we should be good. Because I just realized it. Why have we been able to take advantage of that? Little it, odd thing it does of the quick load? I can see it also become, as we saw earlier, become an issue. And yeah. an issue I can see it becoming a soft lock. I doubt, it, I doubt it would get that bad, but it could definitely bite us on the ass unintentionally. Okay. Who saw what there? I don't know. I had to rub my eye. Okay. Best guess I have is that he somehow turned around for like half a second or something. Hmm. Also, oh, it looks like for the burning we need to be outside or something? Or is that just uh, that being glitched or something? Hmm. Either way, you lots come closer. Yeah. The enemy's near. I'd love to have a machine gun company here instead. Okay. Eliminated. They should be safe and out of sight there. Okay. Quick, nope. Quickly hide the bodies. Okay, quickly. I'd love to have a machine gun company here instead. Just barely. Okay, that, and the door, that was lucky. And the door closed itself just on time. <laughs> okay. These guys are rigidly looking forwards. Though, well, they couldn't see this anyways here. Okay. Hmm. 
This guy yeah. ha haven't seen them move, so this one first, we go. and then this one. All right. I was I was wondering if we needed two people for this one. Mm. Move him away from the window. Just in case they might get a peek inside. From the second floor? It's pretty risky. It's the ground floor. Oh. Oh, right. The other building was on the second floor. Okay. Oh, dear. Dump the bodies. Turn off the lights. And then this is our next. Ooh. Way up. Okay, apparently that bit doesn't count as being inside or something, or... Okay. If it don't see... If it don't see you through the window... Shouldn't be possible. It, it was more reacting like it was sniffing us, or smelling us. Would hmm. it make sense if the window was... Now I'll leave that up to just a bit yeah. Uh, let's see. If anything, this map has probably been the one that actually been glitching. Yeah. No documents. If, once this mission is over, we really should go check over those documents. Yeah. Um, we, you keep see. seeing that and keep forgetting. Yeah. Now, how do we actually burn this place? We're on a mission. Let's see. Can you move? around here like, do we need to Wait. chuck in molotovs or something yeah, molotov hmm. would make sense do we have any molotovs or such I know what I'm doing. yeah that, that's what i'm worried about hmm. like it'd be annoying if we can't do it if you're missing molotov for that means you are if you don't bring the necessary molotov then you're locked out and yeah, I see we have a monitor there. Yep. Okay. But my point still stands. You could be locked out if you did not have Molotov. Let's see. Hmm. I get the feeling these are a bit... That these are supposed to be inside. Is there really no other place? Hmm. No. We have basically cleared this place out. Yep. Yes, Pet this off. <laughs> he keeps dropping Zorin on the ground. Oh, he is so getting demoted after this. <laughs> I'd love to have a machine gun company here instead. Oh, you can forget that. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of hot dates with hot potatoes. No oh, more you're cold be potatoes. Them first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll get Wait. to peel them and then you'll get to cook them. I just realized the way I said it could be translated in so many weird ways. <laughs> okay, but now I'm this time do don't you drop smoke. your commanding officer. Yeah. Don't drop him and also I will blame him. Okay, now how do we actually burn this place? They could detect us. Well, you could take a few leaves and two big sticks and a flint and steel. Oh, Only yeah. just feed me some very spicy food. I brief it this down with breath of fire. Let's see, a burn prison archives. Actually, at this rate, at, at this rate, I probably could just put down the mine and deal with these guys. Enemies right here. At first, let's take a look at whoever is around here. <clears throat> Pardon. Oh, we've got a commanding officer. So we know that we'll need to take care of them. Or we'll start, or we'll see the alert raised when he notices his men are missing. Okay, it's as close as we can get there. They're watching. Hmm. Ooh. 
Okay, for a moment I thought he was going to just stay stationary, but no, we're not that lucky. Though with him being there and having a line of sight over that way, yeah, that would have blocked most of the way we could have gone there. And Oh no, that's the BRT. That's a half track. Are you just going to switch between these yeah, two? These are regular trucks. I'm, I'm not armored. Yeah. Hmm. We'll probably have to ditch that thing because, well, it's an armored truck. It's an armored vehicle. It's not going to be easy to hide. It looks like there's at least two other targets over there. Okay, you. It could be easy to hide in a swamp. Okay. You might just need some diving gear to get it out. <laughs> Let's wait for the patrol to pass. And then we'll move around over here to see what other targets we have to deal with here. Okay. Mm, careful. Not sure if that bush is a safe hiding place from the dog, but it should do for now. Okay, quickly. Okay. That's a lot of targets to deal with. Yeah, uh, wait, aren't we burning? Cool. Oh. Hmm? Are we about to burn the archives? Yeah, but I kind of want to make sure that we don't do anything too stupid with this at the moment. Hmm. Uh, I guess if we start burning it now, <sighs> yes, comrade they will probably start rushing over. Could be. Hello, to in chat pizza. <laughs> it could be a good destruction. Let's do what we yeah. have to do. Hello, pizza. Uh, I'm doing well over here. How about yourself? Uh, doing pretty good. Uh, let's see. Maybe we do just toss one of these around. Uh, move that there. There. Okay, quick save, just to make sure on this. Uh, with the archives, does it mean these shelves? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, something's odd. Can you even go and uh, uh, interact with them? Nope. Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Okay, we just interact with it. Okay, I'm going to load back just to s <laughs> so we don't say it. Okay. Okay, because they didn't light up, I didn't think we could actually interact with them. It's less burn and more just tear a few pages out, I'm guessing. Uh, look again, Captain. Okay, and that, that, that is starting to smoke, yeah? Okay. Okay, that's kind of realistic. It, it doesn't turn into a blazing inferno yeah. instantly. It takes a bit of a moment. Yeah. Okay. Enough best to get the heck mm -hmm. out. Okay, best right. option I can see here at the moment. Let's see. Hey, it's uh, pretty all right. Okay, that's good. Yeah. was just to read that. <laughs> uh, are we to dump that car on him? Actually, that would probably be the very right. e the easiest way to deal with that commanding officer. This feels like a damn joke. Dump truck. Don't be a dump. Dump. Uh, you, you know what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. Hey, you! Beep, beep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is that actually going to make them suspicious? Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, come on! Okay, come best other on. objective, best other chance then is to just uh, run in and massacre them. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I guess you if you're d gonna do the truck thing, make sure you get, they get two of them, then rush the other two. Yeah. Actually, how many out are, are, are over there? And here we go into the A good amount. So, actually, the best I can think of right here is to. Oh. Can I try it right now? No. Nope. Wait, there's someone looking to us at that uh, area. It is. Dark. Yeah, but not close enough. Yeah. Does the. Hmm. Does the light cover this area? Wait. If those go, two got it's, run it's over. Close. Wait, what? Wait, reason. two got run over, but two are right. Where did this second this one, one come from? Over here. The one uh, working okay. on the, the, on the BRT, BTR. Okay, best idea I have at the moment, other than the truck, is to... Oh, can we do it right now? Actually, I think we might do it right now. Commissar should have done better. Oh, damn it. Apparently it was uh, worse. And wait, how did he die over there? But it's cold. Uh, oh, wait. He, the Calton boost is like probably the altars are fired. <laughs> okay, that was the game registering one click too many. Uh, let's see. Pizza, just been you know, trying to get used to the controls on my PS5 after being used to a Switch. Uh, yeah, when when they are both looking away, this would be the best moment to strike. Okay. The commissar should have done Wait. better. How did you get a glimpse there? I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I didn't plan nope. for this. Okay, why didn't you why didn't you rush forward like I told you to? Okay, come on. Commissar should have done better. Just everyone. Now quickly, quickly, uh, more signs of telekinesis. <laughs> okay. Again, I keep telling you, he's the buggiest one. That it, that was the other one who was typically doing it. Very cool. <laughs> oh, but there's two of them now, ain't it then? <laughs> okay, but that is a big issue of our shoulders. And off of his now as well. Uh, pizza, let's do the turn. You should switch for more than a year. Pretty much struggling like hell on Need for Speed Unbound, but it was obvious since my last first time on the PS5 and my first game. Uh, yeah, getting used to controllers is a th quite a thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I still hold my, uh, the Xbox controller for my computer wrong most of the time because I keep just. Uh, my pointer fingers on the shoulder buttons. Well, I'm pretty sure you need your quote unquote supposed to hold the triggers with your middle fingers or something. Anyways, with the biggest issue dealt with here, actually, there's one more way we can deal with another issue here, I think. Also, quick save. Is anyone going to investigate that? Doesn't look like it. Okay. This is going to make this a whole lot easier. We're on a mission. Okay. Uh, other way around, please. I don't know, could we lure him over to the truck? Mm, doubt it. Let's see, patrol Wait, is away. I think we can. If we have something he may be interested in. So, no, it's too late. Yeah. I just realized, we, we have snaps. Uh, we have booze for them to try and uh, grab, but yeah, the only thing he's grabbing is a handful of hell. Okay. This guy next. Which one do we need down first? Three soldiers wants a nap in the log. bush. <laughs> Give me an order. Okay. The enemy's near. 
lost few. Okay, I thought he'd actually be closer to the other one before, but apparently not. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, we don't even get experience from some of these anymore. <laughs> All right. Wait, what? Uh, let's see. You still have a little bit of space, so go pick those pockets. Try me again. Okay. Get this off. Get over here. Now, everyone bundle up. Ooh. Yep. I'm here. I'm listening. Zorin is going to kick your ass back <laughs> to <laughs> Belarus and then just to the other side of Russia. Great responsibility. Uh. Mm. Okay. Yep. No space. We're on a mission. Uh. Okay. Now. Brings <laughs> brings Zorin over, you asshole. Let's do what we have to do. Okay, you uh, let's see. A tiny bit of a room here. Hand over one of these, and then grab whatever's left in these pockets. We're on a mission. Okay. Just everyone here. One last, just to it's be absolutely certain. Enough. We shouldn't overstay our welcome. Okay. 23 left alive, but we did get all the officers. And food and supplies. <laughs> okay. Did they torture you? Comrade Olga and I walked away with just a few bruises. But the captain got beaten badly. You took it heroically. I couldn't have held out like that. I can't believe my ears. Is that our Olga? Tell me what you did with Sobel. Enough. You can ask questions later. They're wounded. They need to rest. Affirmative, nurse. Are you staying, Commissar? If you'll have me. In that case, I must relinquish command. You're the superior officer. No need. Get well quickly. Once you're fit again, we shall talk. Hmm. Okay. I think I see why this <laughs> this just causes a bit of slowdown every now and then. That now and then, because well. <laughs> Very clearly, the shadows are glitching out like hell. Yeah, for they're trying to follow the damn trees. Let's see, can I lower that for a moment? Okay, no, no specific controls on that. Okay. Do you have a family, Commissar? Yes, a wife and two daughters. The eldest plays violin. The little one's just started her first grade at school. <laughs> Life is full of wonders. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Back to the usual stuff. Ambush, quick reaction, and trophies. Three fifty experience. Two fifty. During World War Two. Let's see. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. Just food from that. Seventy-five food. Okay. Uh. Let's let's send you out on something easy so you can recover. Also, they got his hat back. <laughs> okay, ambush. Oh. Let's see. Take a look at how much f minus we go each day on food. Yeah, forty. Since now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight partisans to feed, each for five each. Okay. So yeah, it's a good thing that we build up quite a bit, huh? Yeah, and we had time to build up a little bit more while the others were away. Do yeah. within a limited capacity. Okay. Now, that'll keep us at the same level of food at least. So anything yeah. past this is a bonus. It's more any food bonus is good. Hmm. 
another high quality you know, rifle that we can get. Uh, it says there's some new partisans in the area. At least that's what they call themselves. What are they? Yeah, I guess bandits again. Okay. Let's go chase these fuckers off. And yeah, just food for the rest, I'd say. Yep. Gathering 22. Okay, <laughs> potatoes and cabbages left it out in the field. Okay. All right. Oops, some local rumors. Rumors that Commandant Mellenberg uh, is planning to implement even more brutal counterpartisan measures. What does that bastard have in mind? And news from the front. The fall of Moscow is just another German lie. Our capital is still fighting tooth and nail. Okay. Did he even fall? During the war? Not sure. Hmm. But I'm pretty sure... Actually, I, for I forget how far the German army actually managed to push into Russia. Yeah, I um, think they got close, but I'm not sure they even ever reached it. Hmm. Okay. Suppose we win the war. What next? I go serve me time again. With extra on top for escaping. I'll see you get your parole when the war's over. Yeah? What if you get killed? You never miss a sortie. Why can't you just stay in command from the back like normal commanders do? Yeah. Okay. I can kind look of at uh, wonderful water sense. It is not as effective to stay behind as uh, usually. Like, if you have a very big partisan group, maybe you can afford to stay behind, but this is not a big one. Yeah. Let's see. 350, 125 experience, and Olga has a level. Let's see. Now, let's give you this, your best pistolier, and that gets her to rank 4. Uh, let's see. Who's the closest to a level? Uh, it's, uh is the closest with, at the moment. Yeah, Zorin is decently close. Uh, oh, you are just about... Okay, so Nikitin... Hmm, actually, anything you do will... Uh, not anything, but most. Uh, let's send him out on that. Okay. Uh, uh, where are you? There you are. Dude, it's a... Hmm. That's actually a rather low chance of success. Let's see, 55. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Wait. the head of this na the neighboring village is celebrating his anniversary. It could be his last uh, at one. Let's pay him a visit. Okay, typically these have been smaller targets than a village head, so yeah, that explains why. Yeah, and also, we did hear Ruben hinting that they're gonna do more counter-partisan measures, so I guess some of these will get uh, harder as well. Yeah. Let's see. The tub was that some roads. A German truck with medical equipment has stolen the mud. It looks like easy prey. Let's see. Yeah, the, these are getting harder with less chance of, uh, of success. And let's see. <clears throat> Pardon. Send those out on that. And let's see. Okay, just put you two to cooking then. Okay. Hmm. Sag back first. Okay. Olya, your eyes are red. Are you okay? That's lack of sleep showing. I lost sleep over my dad. I'm worried about him. 
He's a colonel, you know? We had a huge fight the last time I saw him. He wanted me to return to Moscow. He didn't want to lose me. But I said some things I regret. That I wasn't his to command, things like that. I don't know if I'll ever get to see him again. We must hope for the best. I'm sure you'll get to see him when the war is over. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Documents? Yeah, we should check those out, yeah? And we did have success on this, even though it was basically a coin flip. Old man wanted to live, he will help the Red Army by delivering information. Operation with success, replace the propaganda's leaves list with our own. Townsfolks will now know that partisans are close by, and we made some rations. Okay. Um, oh, another raid. Okay, a high quality mouser. Okay. I think we don't have a high quality of that one yet. And yeah, we should. <clears throat> we should. Actually, wait, there's one. Wait, do we have one of those already? Uh, let's see. Sort that. Uh, information. That's an AVS. Both of these should be. Uh, actually. Yep, move everything to storage. Okay. Uh, that should get handed over to Zorin. That was his gun after all. And there. Move everything over. Olga, move everything over. It's nice not carrying anything. You get your rifle back. Yep, come on. There. And your trusty blades. Pistol. And that one as well. Move all of that. And all of that. Okay, that should be all of our inventory sorted. Okay. Extra carry capacity. Okay. Next level, we yeah, next level we give him his upgraded massacre. Okay, and let's see anything else that we can do. Yeah, the raids, another trophy search, three seventy or yeah, three fifty, three fifty. Um, let's see. Okay. It looks like we'll have a lot more missions where the base chance of success is going to be 0%. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Most, with a lot of these, the base chance of success has been like 25 or 50%, with the people we add on only increasing it. But a lot of these are at 0%. Oh yeah, SS troops. Definitely, it's definitely going to be a lot harder than just your average bunch of assholes. Oh dear. Okay. And you two get to cook again. And now documents. Yeah, we'll do that before uh. the next mission. Okay. Last bit of story. Talk with me once I was fit again. That's right. Walk with me. We shall stay here, talk in front of the others. Any problems? We solve them together. Hmm. If you insist. But you should know that this is classified information. I have a standing order to supervise the local partisan detachments and help them liaise with Moscow. Moscow? Why didn't you say something? Silence also wins wars. But that's not all. Moscow is planning an operation with heavy partisan involvement. It will mark the anniversary of the Great October Revolution. There are two main objectives. The goal of the operation is to weaken the fascist logistics and provide support for the Red Army. But above all, it will boost morale before a decisive battle. What do you need us to do? I need some papers from the local communication facility. Can you get them? We'll find a way. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, 
Let's see. And no, not there. Uh, hmm. How do we get to the I to hmm our documents here? Let's see. Not even sure if we can get into it, so we might just have to read before the next mission. Oh dear. Sort all of that. Oh yeah, Anthony, let's hmm. disassemble some of the weak guns. Yeah, anything of common. Probably a good chunk of the uh, <clears throat> of the blue value ones as well. Okay. We haven't had anything so far where we need to trade weapons or such. So I very much doubt we'll see anything like that. Yeah, no. Have you upgraded any gun so far? Nope. And yeah, we're Maybe? getting we're getting equipment for, uh, or materials for each of these. Yeah, I sort of wonder. Maybe it's time to start doing that. For I gonna suspect there's gonna be more uh, ones that we may need more combat on. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, sort everything. Uh, let's see, we have a few doubles. Let's see, make, first let's make sure that everyone is equipped with a good gun for them. Let's see. You can use one of these. You already have your big boy, but we should give you an SMG as well. You are not much of a knife fighter, so you don't get one of those. Uh, actually, yeah, let's just... Give you a Knives for everyone, just in case. Actually, you are not much of a fighter. You not either, I think. Let's see. Bas basically, everyone with melee proficiency gets a knife. Uh, everyone who doesn't, well, doesn't. Uh, storage. There we go. Just in case there is a chance that we do, <clears throat> that we can... Uh, well, lose a melee fight. We have seen that happen, I think, at least once so far. Yeah, long, long, long ago. Okay. In a uh, world we... not far away. Uh, Zorin has his rifle. You also have an SMG. You don't really need a firearm, since you're also the sneaky kind. I think we have no fight. As you see, in an uh, episode uh, not far away. Actually, so, I mind. Hmm. It was a problem a while ago we did see that happen. Hmm. Okay, we can get another level of melee combat for him, which will put him on the same rank as our commissar. Hmm. But beyond that, he is good. Which he can become good with shotguns and SMGs. Hmm. We are usually more using him for melee, but we probably will have to upgrade him with guns as well. Yeah, so do we give him shotguns or SMGs? If he's already close enough to be close, well, in range with a, a shotgun, uh, maybe best to give him that as well then. Let's see, there. Okay. Hmm. Weapon workshop. Um. Let's see. We've got a good few rifle, a few good rifles still. Hmm. Let's. See. Okay, we can select someone from here. Okay, what can we do with this one of yours, sir? And we can put three things on it. On it. Modified slides. Cooldown between shots reduced by 25%. Increased crit chance by 10, which would make it 20%. And increased hit chance by 10%. Okay. Hmm. And that looks to be all the... Let's see. I'm presuming there's different ones for different weapons. But is it, is it always going to be three? 
Because that does mean that... Yeah, it looks like it's for everything it's going to be three possibilities. It's just with these quality rifle, uh, quality weapons, we can put all of them on there. Come, let me... Okay, come on. Okay, I'm sure why it let, didn't let me pick it out there. Okay. Go back. Put all of these on there. Hmm. It, Olga, what can we put on your pistol? Okay, only space for two. Does that mean... Let's see. Also... Okay, so different weapon types can also have different... Uh, hmm. Okay. So if we... Hmm. How does the Luger compare to this one, then? Let's see, 75... The, I think the main thing was that these have a much more damage per shot, but they fire slower or something. Now let's see. Increased critical t uh, damage chance by 10 for 25. Hit chance by 10. And increased clip size to 20. Oh, that's an upgrade of 12. Okay, that is quite a lot. And let's see, yeah, 24 to 40 damage, uh, 56, yeah, it's fire slower, not too much, same distance, effective distance the same, one bullet less, 5% less crit chance, hmm, okay, pull that one out, uh, this again, why for some reason it won't let me move it over again, let's see, Increase crit chance by 10, crit hit chance. Hmm. I'm actually a bit tempted to give her the Luger. Even though st on stats, or at least on damage wise, it isn't as big. Hmm. It doesn't say anything about reload times with these, so I'm presuming. With the reload time is maybe more per weapon type than each specific weapon. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go with the Luger. It makes sense that the revolver can't have its clip size upgraded. Okay, scroll down with that. I think the game might also be having a bit of an issue trying to keep up with the amount of stuff that we just have. Yeah, there's probably more reason for us to try to, well, salvage and upgrade. Wait, did that also upgrade the, wait. Let's clip size, hit chance. Okay, I saw the fire rate get changed there as well, I think. Huh. Let me, oh, come on mouse. Let's see, information. Hmm. Okay. Okay, either, either I was just say, seeing something there, there was a bit of a hidden upgrade there as well. Either oh. way, oh, let's hand over sure. the better one. There. Okay, it does, it still deals less damage, but we also need to reload this thing far less. Okay. And then there's this pistol here. Yeah, no, not that one. Nope, but... Okay, still this, the game being a bit stupid with that at times. Um, let's see, of course Zorin is going to be sent in. And I'm guessing we can probably do best... Hmm. Actually... I think we will that we'll probably be aiming for mostly stealth again. So I think just having all three knife bros <laughs> will probably do best with this. Knife bro Why does that sound familiar? No clue. Knife bros. Oh, wait. Am I thinking of hammer bros? <laughs> Could be. <laughs> They're edgy cousins. 
Let's see. Word on the street is that a Soviet airstrike destroyed a convoy of trucks in the middle of the night. Whilst the fascists are busy dealing with the consequences, we have a chance to attack and capture the cargo. Okay, so that's... Okay, that makes me... Yes, that sounds a lot more like... What? A lot more like combat mission. So save... What was you for your pun earlier? With edgy cousins. Uh, what oh okay not sure why it said about an override there but okay um yeah let's still let's still have a try at stealth with this if not yep. we can swap out we can load back to this point yeah no let's get some more food here yeah, smoke for, yeah, sure, they may be paranoid, but again, we don't, the game seems to be hinting at that there might be, like, yes, recently there would be really coming for around the time I think it, it did, this did happen. But again, the way the game is speaking, it sounds like there might be coming a winter. Yeah. We will have to see about that. Okay. Exceptionally well-armed enemies, direct combat approach recommended. Yeah, we'll see about oh, come that. On. <clears throat> We're still going to try for stealth as much as we can. Yeah, or rather a combo be... Hmm. Even in odds with stealth before going gun blazing. Yeah. When the odds are more in our favor. Uh, let's see. Some more bottles. Some ammo for your rifle. Like... Yeah, in Wars, Ambush is such did a lot to even odds and all that. But it, it, this becomes extremely vital for partisan groups, I'm gonna imagine, since... Well, there are so extremely few in numbers, usually. Yeah. Okay. You get that. I probably should have. I probably should have given you Gramps' shotgun, but oh well. Um. Yeah, let's take some extra mines just in case. <laughs> okay. To the mission. The papers we're after are stored in the main building. Tonight, our Air Force strafed the truck convoy. The soldiers are busy collecting the remaining cargo. This is our chance to get busy collecting as well. I bet that where those guards are stationed is where we'll find the most valuable supplies. A plane crashed in the field. The townsfolk say that right to the bitter end, the pilot did all he could to make a safe landing. We must examine the crash site and search for survivors. Okay. It sounds like the fighting is very close. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we're dealing with high quality troops here. It's pretty so we'll need to be careful. Oh, wait. Is that what I think it is? Is that. Are there mines here? Actually, you can see mines, don't you? Yep. Oh, okay. thank goodness. We have two who can see mines. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look through this. It's quite a bit. Partisan's companion. Uh, yeah, that this one was about turrets and how to disable them. A photograph of a, a sort of tank. Okay, none I recommend. There, not one I recognize. Partisan's companion number two. Partisan tactics. The main goal of the partisan activities is to eliminate the fascist troops and materiel. Uh, success in this struggle depends on the following. Use the element of surprise. Attack when it is least expected. Stay calm but determined. Learn to let the enemy approach as close as 20 or even 10 meters. Bravery boarding, bordering on recklessness is the uh, partisan's main weapon. Keep, in uh, keep inventing new methods to deal with the enemy. A partisan can't afford to be predictable. Maintain close contact with the Soviet Patriots remaining in the German-occupied towns and villages. A ration description. 
let's see 250 grams of hard biscuits in waxed paper 150 grams of canned vegetables 200 grams of tinned meat 25 grams of coffee or hot chocolates and 25 grams of salt that's quite a bit of salt and that's all one portion so yeah radio address of the state defense committee chairman jv stalin Partisan units must be created in occupied territories. Raiding parties must be organized to harass the enemy forces everywhere. Bridges must be destroyed. Phone and telephone lines cut. Warehouses and supply lines set on fire. The enemies and their cohorts must face unbearable conditions. They must be hunted and destroyed with every opportunity, their every action thwarted. A local village notes. My first encounter with the partisans wasn't particularly joyful. They came in the middle of the night and, having found nothing else of value, took my wedding dress. I'll give that you know, to my marouche that will cheer her up, said one of the bandits. Then the Germans began hauling people off to work in Germany. Some were persuaded, some were simply forced. My sister was taken while I managed to hide in the attic. The Germans were pushing uh, us harder each day. Finally, I decided to join the partisans myself. As it turned out, there were very different people there. A lot of them were just me are just simple men. There are good ones, there are weird ones, there are troublemakers. Really, it's, they stole their fucking wedding dress? Oh, dear. Uh, let's see. Z A Cosmode Mianskaya, part two. Despite all the cruel torture, she refused to reveal any information about her unit and her mission. She even concealed her identity, claiming her name was Tanya. As a, as a deterrence to others, the fascists decided to hang Zoya in front of the whole village. The execution took place on the 29th of October 1941. With the noose already over her neck, Zoya proclaimed to the enemy, You hang me now, but I am not alone. There are 200 million of us. You can't hang us all. They will avenge me. Zoya's body was desecrated by the fascists and remained unburied for a while uh, for a long while. Uh. Local villager note one: The Germans were uh, they were advancing rapidly. My husband was drafted early in the summer. My sister and I missed our chance to evacuate. At first, the Germans weren't particularly cruel. They hired us for odd jobs. I was sent with some other villagers to dig anti-tank trenches. A German soldier was sent to guard us, but we ended up guarding him. He explained to us that he didn't care whether we worked or not. We had never wanted to go to war and had uh, he had never wanted to go to war and had family waiting for him back home. So we had to do our best to keep the Germans from replacing him with someone more strict. Unlike the Kolzog um, Kolkos administration, the Germans paid on time and uh, liked to point it out. The bread they paid us with, however, often contained sawdust. <laughs> Yeah, that was a thing that... Uh, it was not just German who did that. Uh, both yeah. sides of war ended up uh, using bread, uh, sawdust in the bread due to shortages. So, short on supplies. Yeah. V.O. Gnarovskaya. During the battle for the town of Dolitsa, near the Donetsk River, Combat medical uh, instructor Vio Gnarovskaya carries 47 wounded soldiers and officers and their weapons to safety from the battlefield. She personally eliminated 28 German soldiers and officers during the battle by the village of Ivankov, uh, Ivanenko, Ivanenkovo. Two enemy Tiger tanks broke through the lines and headed uh, toward the regimental HQ. In this critical moment, as the tanks were within 60 to 70 meters from the HQ, Gnarovskoya and Skaya, having obtained a bundle of grenades, rose from the trench and rushed the approaching vehicle. She sacrificed herself but disabled the enemy tank. Now, I think these might be about actual real life partisans. So, you get partisan units. Award sheet. Senior Technician Lieutenant Leonid Alek Alekseevich Baikov from the village of Ostrova in the Zebets district of the Psovkov. Again, I'm just butchering these names. Graduated from armored school, fought on the front line since the first days of the war in 1941, defended as part of the 20, 39th Separate Tank Regiment. For his valor, metal, and bravery in combat, he was awarded the Medal for Courage. Okay. <clears throat> Newspaper again. Not long ago, fascists shot and killed three youths who were returning from the forest with, wild, uh, with firewoods. 
An old farmer and the village uh, begged the Germans to spare their children, but they were, themse uh, were themselves cruelly beaten and thrown into a cold shed with no clothes. In the evening, the drunken soldiers uh, laid straw all around the shed and set fire to it. Meanwhile, in the village, a fascist officer uh, gathered all the local villagers and demanded that they provide Hitler's forces with 30 tons of potatoes, 5 cows and 20 sheep. Yep. <laughs> yep. An impossible demand, likely knowing that they would never be able to and just giving him an excuse to go on a murder spree. Uh, wait, wait, wait. 5 cows, 20 sheep sounds more doable, but 30 tons of potatoes? Yeah. Ugh. The villagers had no means to comply because the Germans had taken all their cattle and their provisions. So even oh. more, just an excuse. Soon a fascist death squad arrived in the village. The Germans corralled all the, uh, the people at the central square and shot every fifth villager, including women and children. Then after setting fire to the village from every side, the fascists took the survivors to a concentration camp. Ugh. Partisan Again. campaign number six. Hmm? Again, people on this way very rarely look up on things from World War II. For this is a horrible part of everyone's history. Yeah, and there are people who wish to bury it. Forget it and ignore it like it never happens, which is only this going works. to cause it to uh, happen again. Yeah. It's a horrible mm. history, but it needs to be remembered. Yeah, those who do not learn from history repeat. will repeat it. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Wire against motorcyclists. The best way to disable an enemy motorcyclist is by stretching a wire across the road. Find a sturdy tree by the forest road and tie one end of the wire at, uh, uh, to it at one meter above the ground. Then pull the wire to the other side of the road and position yourself uh, by another tree on the opposite side of the path. As soon as you hear the enemy motorcyclist approaching, pull the wire tight. Send, loop its end around the tree several times and find a hiding place. The motorcyclist will drive into the wire and lose balance. When he falls, you can either kill him or take him prisoner. I, I think a few years ago, uh, some asshole did this on public cycling paths out in the woods. Oh, come on! And That's horrible. Number seven. Use available items. Remember, the forest is your protection. Use trees and roadside ditches as cover against enemy gunfire and for setting up ambushes. Use what links and fences to mask your movements. Make gun ports in them where needed. Any wooden structure, a barn or shed, can be used for protection from enemy bullets. Dig a foxhole inside near the wall and use the earth to reinforce the wall from the outside. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was about to say, the wooden walls don't give too much protection, but still some. And the heck is a watling? <clears throat> Another newspaper. There is no end to the bickering among the fascist allies. Germans can't hide the disdain from, for the Romanians. They insult and abuse them. Special orders from the German uh, 11th Army are a perfect example of this. The order states, Lately there have been multiple complaints from the Romanian military authorities that German soldiers are forcefully uh, taking the cattle from the Romanian forces. It was a case where a German... In NCO took the cattle from a whole Romanian battalion. This led to multiple clashes between German soldiers and officers and their Romanian counterparts. The Germans are robbing Romanian detachments, taking their bread and their cattle. The Romanians often go hungry because of this. The order also mentioned that German soldiers and NCOs have repeatedly insulted the Romanian army. German soldiers and NCOs are continuously being rude towards Romanian officers. Would not be surprised if that's fully true, because, well, the whole superiority complex that uh, a certain group <clears throat> try to well basically enforce as mandatory uh. Uh. let's see av petrova finally a name i can sp uh, pronounce decently at the end of october a reconnaissance detachment from poly <laughs> from polykos group including antonia petrov was operating near station. Uh, the fascists soon discovered this, and on November 4th, 1841, this 1841, that, that's a typo, I think, they sent dead squads to surround the camp, 10 kilometers northwest from the village uh, in the Luga district. 
Uh, the camp housed 11 partisans, and during the brief firefight, all were killed. However, Petrova managed to reach the machine gun emplacement and eliminated several of the fascist soldiers. The Germans rushed her when she ran out of ammo, but using a hand grenade, she was able to take out several more enemies, sacrificing herself in the process. Yeah, yeah, that is that's definitely a typo. Dress combat reports. June 26, the East Fort was the centerpiece of the resistance. Rifle and machine gun fire immediately cut down any, everyone who dared to approach. 27th, it became known that the defending garrison consisted of about 20 officers and 370 soldiers. Reportedly, the defensive effort is held together by one major and one commissar. 29th, planes dropped many 500 kilo bombs on their positions. No notable effects. 30th, planes resumed dropping 500 kilogram, perfect timing, uh, bombs this afternoon. A 1800 kilogram bomb was dropped as well. It had a corner of the wall. The explosion shook the whole city of Brest. Oh dear. Some, was this the actual fort that we, or uh, fort slash prison that we snuck into? Because Brest does sound familiar. Oh, sure. Hmm. And also, what do you mean, perfect timing? Yeah, the sound of a plane going overhead on the soundtrack. Oh! Okay, okay. Uh, uh, selfless work in the fields, excellent harvest, and e early fulfillment of obligation to the, our government. This is how the collective farmers assist the Red Army in defeating the fascist hordes. At Kruman District's uh, machine tractor station, Crimean autonomous, yeah, but all harvesters are still toiling in the field. As the operators went to fight the fascists, the women took their places at, at the machines. Meanwhile, women of the Kolos Kolos in the district of region, <laughs> again, I'm, I'm, I'm just stopped. I'm just not attempting even more. Having replaced the tractor drivers who went to war are confidently exceeding their work quotas. Okay, yeah, that's... <clears throat> the part about the women uh, taking over the job, that is likely 100% true, but the rest of this is probably propaganda because it's a paper that came out during wartime. Of course, it's going to be, feel, it's going to be filled with propaganda where possible. Could just as easily be about the, uh, the other one here, not that one. The one here, because, well, one way to... <clears throat> one way to weaken your enemy as well is to try and spread the discontent among their ranks. So this would mostly be found by, well, Russian people, so... Mm. Still, just telling that the enemy is weak in cohesion is also just one way that propaganda is often used to, well, strengthen your own side's morale. <clears throat> Partisan detachments are harassing the combined German-Finnish forces occupying several regions of the Karelo finnish Republic. The fascist command sends uh, numerous soldiers to deal with the partisans, reinforce security units guarding the roads, bridges, and warehouses, and still the fearless partisans are managing to find weak points and deal heavy blows to the enemy. A small Finnish garrison had set up in the village K. A partisan unit commanded by Comrade L surrounded the village under the cover of darkness and ambushed the Finns. The partisans killed 20 enemy soldiers, destroyed a warehouse full of supplies, and captured two machine guns and several dozen rifles. Again, good chance of this being, well, at the very least, exaggerated. VP Kisla, Kis, Kislerkov. In one of the battles between the 14th and 18th of June 1941, VP Kislyakov, a platoon sergeant in a decontamination company, took upon himself the duties of the platoon leader after the former was killed and led a successful assault on a nameless hill near the estuary of the Litsa River in the Murmansk region. During the following defense of the hill, the platoon's ammunition ran out. Sergeant Kislyakov ordered his men to pull back while he remained to cover their retreat using a machine gun, captured enemy weaponry and then hand grenades. Fighting an uneven battle against a hundred of Hitler's soldiers, the sergeant created an illusion of a whole platoon dug in upon the hill. He held his position for several hours until relieved by friendly reinforcements. Okay, I was expecting that to end in their death as well. Because the previous ones have. Okay. Another newspaper, part one. 
Not long ago, fascists shot and killed three youths who returned from the forest with firewood. Another farmer... Uh, wait, this, that's the same one as before, just torn in half. Okay. Uh, one more here. B.L. Kikrin. Captain B.L. Kikrin was ordered to prevent German tanks from reaching a bridge on the Drott River. A brave artillery soldier who had already distinguished himself among, uh, along with his division during earlier engagements chose good positions for his guns. As soon as enemy tanks showed up, the guns opened fire. Captain Kikrin's uh, gun was partially su and particularly successful in battering the enemy. Fascist tanks went up in flames one by one, yet still the enemy pressed on, ignoring the losses. All crew members perished under enemy gunfire. Uh, enemy fire. Captain Kigrin uh, assumed the role of a gunner and personally destroyed four enemy tanks. He kept firing until a fragment of an enemy shell cut him down. The enemy advance was halted. Okay. Now we're finally caught up on that. Okay. We've got a patrol going no here. So no dog, so a mine should be able to deal with that. Oh, speaking of mines. Yeah, I was just to say. You want to you want to do some mines, you say? <laughs> yeah, I knew to them I want was to comment that yeah you have some right there to use. <laughs> okay. Actually I might be able to just plant one right away and deal with them. Since they don't have a dog, I can safely hide here. Oop. I'll take that. Okay, there's a bunch here. We were lucky to sneak through this place without getting blown up. Yeah, no, 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 you get a bit greedy, Captain. You could plant it, then grab them. Yeah, you could say these are all mine. Careful, there's a mine. That it makes the wool penguin meme more scary, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, mine, mine, seagulls. mine, mine, mine! <laughs> yeah, it, it was seagulls. Now you know, people, why I always have warned you about the seagulls. Especially the undead ones. Okay. Let's equip some of these. Okay. You idiots move to about here. Okay. Okay. Yep. There we go. Sometimes he just they just don't, don't seem to really react when I tell them to grab uh, some uh, plant something like that. Okay. You go hide quickly. Yeah, we're uh, likely to draw some that. attention. Uh, it's. I'd be surprised if it didn't. Also, okay, yeah, the, the signs are, well, some of them are pointing inwards. Okay. Hmm. Are we looking at what's to do? It's gonna raise the alarm. Yep. Follow me. I'm hit. Yep. Okay, why did you not... Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I told him to use his throwing knife there, but oh uh, well. Okay then. You there, you go potato picking. Yeah, okay. This time we put down no, one mine, then... Okay, apparently it takes a moment for him to notice them. Let's go. If not you, the commissar. We have work to do. Well, he has only one eye to watch with. True. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it takes him. It takes him a few seconds to actually spot them. But you can actually see them in the ground before that. It looks like because I noticed one of them before he no pointed it out. Yeah. No. Let's plant a mine. Then grab. Oh, love off. I think the patrol is heading this way now. Or not. Okay. Either no way, let's here. do a quick save. Switch over to our potatoes. Close. Okay. Uh -huh. 
Okay, there's so freaking many of them. Yeah, they definitely want us to use these. Oh, I think they want you to walk in on them and all that, but... We will turn them against them. Yep. Hmm. Nope. Oh, they heard it. They heard it. Easy now. I'm on it. One down. Here we go. And today they are looking, but will they be finding? The enemy's dead. Okay. I do My like that we when we. I do like that they will show where they are generally, but not give accurate locations if we don't have line of sight. I just had an idea we, we could have done. It planted another mine? Yeah, by the door. <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely would have caught some of them. Or at the very least um, one. Yeah, but as I said, if we end up need to reload, that's what we will do. <laughs> okay. For now, we continue our hunt for more potatoes. He really likes potatoes, people. <laughs> Especially with uh, deep fries yeah. with mayo. Uh, I mean, it is delicious. <laughs> I think someone has a bit of shell shock. No, I think it's all of it. Where the heck is the key? Or to, uh, he, takes it, he has to realize he doesn't need a key to open it. <laughs> Well, we gave him a key to uh, some, well, if not pearly gates, probably more rusty and spiky. Okay. We're dangerously close. Rusty, okay. spiky, no, no, more of a... Dirty and blazing hot and sharp. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Now that we're one patrol short, or rather they're one patrol short, let's have a look around here. This guy moves back and forth. <clears throat> My recon experience comes in handy. Yeah, it, it looks like once again all of their focus is mostly pointed inwards. So He's going down. Any more yes, of you sometimes it sometimes it looks like Actions get cancelled the moment you try to execute them. Hmm. Okay, hide that one in here. Okay, and we start looting. You get out of there. Let's see. We have work to do. I will say this, before we saw the documents, did see, we see something that I felt like is kind of rare Let's go. mentions. Mm. Like, one of the other soldiers... Well, yeah, the, the one was not as strict. He got to yeah. but he just didn't... He, he declared he didn't want to be there, he just wanted to be with his family, but was forced there. It's a thing, people. Yeah, not all Germans were Nazis, and not all Nazis were Germans. There were plenty of people from other countries just as bad and deep into the quote-unquote ideology. I call it a quote-unquote because I see it more as yeah, diseased thinking. Not like a mental yeah, condition or such, because that, with that... People just cannot help it, but the ideology of quote unquote racial supremacy, yeah, that's just so much bullshit that I cannot help. I can only call it like a, an ideological disease. Huh? Yeah, it's very much bullshit. So I'm, I'm, I'm in agreement, Helium. Even though I'm sure if I would use that as a metaphor, as a logical disease, but. I've seen us. It, it's horrible. 
is a very bad one. Yeah. The adult, uh, the, uh, the only game in the, the, that one is horrible. Cool. Let's see. And He's much of it was even built on a damn lie. Yeah. Actually, a lot of lies. If I remember correctly, actually, I, I believe Adolf himself was fucking half Jewish. Yeah, or something like that. And apparently, it was also very anti-religious. Hmm. Not sure on that. So, I wouldn't be surprised at at all if you actually used uh, religion as one of the mini covers for all of the just distill the hatred. I yeah, was thinking for, about uh, trying to take him out, but dog, so that's going to be yeah, difficult. Yeah, but think about something about he burned books of all religions. Do he has a fascination with the old Norse yeah, mythology, I, I, but never I, to the point of worship. I think that might have been more burning the competition, quite literally. Yeah, though he even, even he tried to twist and turn Norse mythology, even invented new runes that are illegal. I think I said it to people. Mm. If you want to get a rune tattoo, that's fine. Just make sure you get the right ones. For yeah. Apparently, someone decided, oh, I got to tattoo my head with some runes. And the tattoo artist gave him some of the illegal runes that are not historical at all. Like, I hope it has been done that historical runes are protected, the ancient ones. But yeah. But you're allowed to use them, just just don't use the ones that, uh, yeah, the fascist invented. Okay, that, I got, I got away with that pretty easily because it was just the dog who got a glimpse. You know, it's it, it kind of sad when you think about it, you have legal historical rules, then you have ones that were invented as well that are illegal today. Yeah. This, yeah, that, that kind of makes studying rules a bit uh, cumbersome. If you specifically want to learn to write them, you have to make sure you don't use the wrong ones. So what? Yeah, the, the, the main point I think that can be drawn out of that is that uh, fascists will try to twist anything to fit their worldview. Doesn't matter of if it's accurate in any sort of way or not. Yeah, like they would like try the, to. They, they would probably they would try to uh, twist pacifism into violence somehow yeah and he is an example apparently they try to uh, claim that all leaders of rooms during the roman empire were of nordic descent they yeah tried to claim but that's that's so bullshit and there's so much proof against it Basically, fascism is uh, antithetical. Uh, is the complete and utter f opposite to uh, reality of any sorts, down. reality no, and us. truth of any sorts. And did we just kill the communications officer? It looks I like think it. You did. Okay, well that's keep, that's going to stop them from calling in reinforcements. This hmm. coming, nasty. Get down. Right here. Okay. Well, yeah, now, I, I really next. hope we won't have a third war. Third war. Yep. Uh, we'll just have to see how things oh, in trouble. Ukraine turn out. Yeah. I, hmm. Okay. This guy doesn't seem to move. Oh. This would be a perfect moment to strike on him. Get if the others don't turn around. Ooh. Okay, so that one does move. I thought he didn't. So quickly grab that. Uh, but yeah, back on one thing though. Uh, like, you know, not really. I'll, I'll res we already spoke a decent amount of that, but not. Not all uh, Germans were Nazis yep, no. and all that. 
But yeah, in war there isn't really time to differentiate between the good ones and the bad ones. Calm down. This is kind of sad, but a horrible truth. Don't let me down. How many more of you are there? Hmm? We'll teach them a lesson. Uh, it's only used to. Okay, and Zorin gets to show off his upgraded rifle. Yep. Okay. Yeah, it could have gone okay. better, could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, this was acceptable for we still had the, uh, the advantage. Yeah, nobody got hurt. Indeed. It has okay. been a lot probably if he did this and triggered like uh, several more. Okay. Grab your knife. Okay. Anyone over that way? Okay, still a few more. Uh, let's quickly grab this. Grenade and tripwire. Okay. Let me just move closer where we can. Let's see. Three, four, seven. Grenade would deal with them, but they'd just they'd have the time to run away. And got each other covered pretty well. Hmm. Nikki probably could grab them all, but he would have to get close first. Plus there's... Okay, there's another one there. A good amount here to deal with as well. Let's see. Hmm. Another comms officer. Okay, that one is mobile. Oh. Okay, for a moment I thought they actually were not going to move at all. So this is probably... Hmm. Yep. Okay, did not mean to... Okay. Come on. Okay, you seem to see a bit further back there, but then... Okay, just off for a moment. Ooh. What? Uh... Okay, that, that has to be a glitch, because there I don't think there is someone over there. We can nab... Well, we can nab him right now. Now, let's hope we can grab, move him away before he moves. Okay. And yeah, that's a simple case of one, two... Uh, actually, no. Hmm. Let's see. We can... Oh, yeah, we can definitely lure him away. Dangerously close. Do you have any bottles with you? Yes, you do. Okay. Hmm. Can we lure him away from the dog? Commissar should have done better. Either way, let's drop one there. And once he starts moving, if that should be in his line of sight once he turns. Hmm. Busted. Uh, yeah, he he should not be able to see there according to his own vision cone. Yeah, but it... Hmm. Is it high enough to see over... the hood? Yeah. Yeah, he should... He, yeah, he should be tall enough for that, but then the vision cone should keep that in mind. And apparently he does not get yeah. lured, lured away. And, hmm. Uh, okay, so these two we can't really deal with at the moment then. 
Wait, he Unless should we... be see, he, seeing us according to the two division court. Yeah, uh, cover. Okay. Cover did grants directional invisibility. All right. Well, he should definitely be seeing the bottle and running off for that, but I guess he's not interested in that. Hmm. Uh, wait, he, where? Cool. Wait, is he an officer or something? He's not wearing a helmet. Uh, yellow. Oh, hmm. that may be why. Now, I think we've seen... Actually, I don't think we've tried luring out the ones with the symbol, like the abs the commanding officers and such. But I think we have been able to lure yellow rank enemies away with the model, so... Yeah. What now? Let's see, you don't have any bottles on you. Let's try planting one here. See if that lures him away. Get down. And yeah, if he just don't if he just doesn't want to get lured away, we might we might need to lure him instead. Hmm. No, he is absolutely uninterested. Probably because there's, well, plenty of loot around already. Come here. Okay. The snakes are moving in. Quickly hide in there. We'll have to try the other ones here. Oh, oh, hello. This one turn. Okay, that one turns away from the others, which gives a good moment to to try and get these two. Okay. It is nice to know. That one moves. This one keeps going back and forth. Okay. Let's go on a little exploration bit. And see what we can find. Get in there. Okay, I was half expecting more to be there. That was him who got a glimpse. Okay. No, not shoot. I cut that off right at the last second, I think. Who else wants a nap in the mud? Yep, this time he's actually being accurate with it. Oh dear. Okay. This one taken out. Hmm. These have line of sight on him. Okay, so we might need to get into a firefight to deal with these for them. Unless. Wait. No, don't pick that up. We can lure him away with a bottle, I think. <clears throat> but he doesn't have any with him. I know what I'm okay. Doing. Wait for him to look away. Calm down. Also, let's collect these again. Yes. Quiet. They've seen us. Keep cool. Mm. Okay. The enemy's close. I failed my duty. Yes, yes, shut up. Okay. Now, where does that one have line of vision here? Actually, this plant one there, you'll probably see it. If not, we'll move it further. Would it be funny if you were able to plant a mine right behind those three? <laughs> Just outside of his line of vision there. <laughs> okay. That should do. But... Okay, not sure how that Wait. instantly set them off. The enemy is I was say, maybe we could win that. But it is mm. a combat mission. Oh, mm. yeah. 
Can we save ammo? It's good. Yes. Yeah, I think we, we prefer fight fights where we have the advantage. Definitely numerical if possible. Okay. At least we now know that these are not going to work. Nope. Okay. Switch weapons, all of you idiots. Okay. You grab that. Okay. He might see us. Easy now. Could have done without this. Now grab him. Lights out for this one. Okay. Grab. Hmm. Also, I should I should remember that I have this to lure them away. I should probably do that with a few of these. For now, though. Commissar should have done better. That was the dog patrol. Okay, let's see. We can grab, put a bottle there, and he'll see. A threat. Yeah, I I get the feeling that he was walking away just as uh, as Nikitin uh, planted the bottle, and when they catch you planting something, they instantly go hostile. Again, there's one in the absolute corner being suspicious of something. So are we just gonna sit around? Uh, what? Over there! Okay. Was that the... No, oh, I, I think he might have found the, uh, the one we killed off there and hid in the bush. But they typically don't find those in the bush. On a... Better mm. dog? Mm. There we go. Just out of their range. And just before they got... Actually, no, they just... They got it just in the last second. <laughs> Oh well, we have more than plenty of those. Okay. Zorin, can you go take a quick Let's look at the what the hell? Nope. Oh. Dump that one, please. Okay. Now the lawful and the chaotic. Go take a peek at what the hell happened here. Hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. I really don't see what could have happened with that, unless they somehow, quote-unquote, found one of these again. Hmm. Get down. Actually, yep. now that I think about it, we can take this one out pretty easily by if we can be lured away here. Gotta wait for him to turn away. Then again, the, he might spot that as well. And we don't know if the dog will follow him. So let's put one right there. That could be in the absolute... Oh wait, it was a different one that got the bait there. Okay. Yep, right. And another one. Okay. <laughs> Unexpected. Can we still grab one of them, at least? Nope. This might actually play in our favor. Because they're running the wrong, wrong direction. Are, are they trying to run for cover or something? Uh... 
passive no, mode. Looking. They haven't discovered you. What? Don't. <laughs> um. Um. No, not that bad, dumbass. <laughs> he just walked straight through him. Okay, that, um, that could have been Zorin taking out an entire squad just on his own with that. And really? Now? Now is the best time for this? <laughs> I just just grab his ass. Probably drive back. <laughs> no, try drinking through a slit throat, uh -huh. you jackass. Let's do it. Okay, that was a lot more humorous than it should have been. Yeah. <laughs> this was unexpected, honestly. Well, like I've said a few times already, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yes. Okay, that leaves the plane crash and the little building over there with the documents. Let's that seems to be only be guarded by yes, three guys and a dog. Okay, grab all the loot. That's loots. Also like a title of a sitcom uh -huh. or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it couldn't be any worse than uh -huh. two and a half men. They had some fun jokes here and there, but otherwise it was. Uh -huh. yeah. There were some people loved it, but I, I'm sorry, I kind of found it boring. Quiet. If anything, I actually found most of the characters annoying. <clears throat> yeah, bas basically with stuff like that, I don't trust any show that has a laugh track. Like, this is supposed to be funny. Laugh now. Also, quick save. Actually... Let's see, you can't climb over that. Yeah, I think, I think there's many series that actually put fun of the love tracks nowadays. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's have a look on if this guy can be lured away from his dog or something. Actually... Wait. That oh, wait, probably no, would have been a perfect uh, yeah, You still don't have any bottles. I don't think they care. They don't care for a bottle. Unless it it's would be interesting if hunt for bottles. Yeah, it would be interesting slash funny if we could put down things to specifically lure dogs away, like meat or something. I was expecting to see doggy bone. <laughs> and hmm, on that, actually, I think it's like a 50 50 chance um, that actually working with guard dogs or not might depend on the amount of training or such. Hmm. Yeah. A younger one might be easier. Oh, there's even more in there. Well trained ones. By order, which I mean, they have been training for a much longer time. Maybe yeah. tricky to do that with. Since, yeah, then, then, yeah, that is actually been trained in terms since they were a puppy or whatever age they've been trained at. I don't, I do think most training like that does start uh, when they are a puppy. Yep. Okay, nope. Will he actually move away from his dog, or will he bring the dog along with him? He brings the dog along, okay. That makes things a little bit more troublesome. Makes sense, of course, that he brings the dog. Actually, can I grab the dog? Ooh. Wait, what's you? happening over there? He acted and like he got shot, shot or shocked or something. Nah, uh, he like he was waving. What do you need? Uh, but they are splitting up now. Any? Uh, 
Oh, damn it, doggy. Yeah, I, I tried to knife the dog, but no luck on that. Okay. Zorin hides. Oh, wait, someone... <laughs> someone help our thief? Uh, actually, let's do a reload on that. Okay, I so... Think you just rid of the dog. Uh, I, I think they keep them pinned. Uh... No, he has I he just threw the dog off. Okay, so me... Yeah. Let's quickly grab that. Okay, so it is possible to lure them away. Actually, now that I think about it, we could probably double, uh, double tap with this. Like, we put a bottle somewhere and put a mine in between. Yeah, that should work. But yeah. I think I think we can do it by luring them away. We just need to well have a way to silently. We need to have someone lure the dog away, and have someone well take it out with like a throwing knife. Yeah, and mm, I, I, I might be wrong on this. I might be wrong on this, but I don't think dogs were trained to sniff out explosives around this time. I think that has been a more modern thing, yeah? Yeah, okay. so... And I think there are dogs that do hunt mines, but that's again a modern one, and not from this era. Uh -huh. uh, let's see, bottle... Let's put that there. That should be in their line of sight. And... Uh, you're not... You, you forget the mines, aren't you? Uh, I'm, I'm going to try this. Oop. Yep, the, the dog found the bodies. Quote unquote founds. Uh, I'm actually going to take this to get to take him out. And this the We should have put a mine in front of the door. Yeah. You get closer. Yep, oh, I, he wasn't reloaded. Uh, let's see. Okay. It's not like I'm here, ghostly ducks. That's the dog done. Move into better position. Take him out. Okay. Yeah, Zorin is getting hurt from this, but that's basically unavoidable at this point. Uh, why are you... The battle is over. Oh! Wait, did... Okay, pull back, pull back. I think someone got an alert off or something. Because those weren't here before. Yeah, we should Who the have fuck put are you? We should have put some uh, mine over there. Got to be careful. Okay, who has the medicals? Yeah. Before all the rookies have been see, let's put a mine by the door this time. So we can get the dog and all that before they return. <laughs> and oh, I well, see, yeah, we should, should definitely out. put the mine there. So that, that could have gone a lot worse. Um, hmm. They still there. Let's see. There must have been something in here to set up the alarm or something. Hmm. Uh -huh. yeah, it's not trying to be. Let's move around. Yeah, we... We have work to do. If they're not going to piss off, we're going to grenade them. Actually, careful now. Hmm. We can wait. We can now. We can still do that trick anyway. Just we use use them from the other uh, direction. And I'm okay now. Now we've got a nasty idea. Also, we we could have gone over the wall here the entire time. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, reload, everyone. Does someone need backing? Okay, you are going to hide behind this rock. 
you are going to hide on the other end. And now I'm going to do something that is going to piss these folks off. Hopefully lure them through the door. Uh, wait, when? Alerted or in battle? Okay, so no quick a save on this. Comes the a life for a life. Tread and... Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay. I finally get to do the trick. <laughs> okay, and this time we actually use this intentionally to set them off instead of, well, accidentally killing everyone we're here. Oh, yeah, that was definitely a medic. Okay. Now, at least one medic amongst them. Okay, got it. <laughs> that could have gone a little bit better with the luring, but still, that w <laughs> that went very well for what I had planned. Yeah. So far, we, we have been able uh, to uh, what do you need? salvage its uh, blunder we've been doing. Oh. Yeah. Blunder that the hill will be doing. Okay. Now, one of these had a key, I think. Oh, wait, that's, that's gonna release it for... If you can't adapt to the situation... You have the key. Then you're not gonna do well to begin with. Okay, everyone inside. You unlock the safe. The rest of you go loot. Right here. Let's see, that's the documents. Okay. And that's actually all we needed to do, so we can just run off if we want to. But we're first going to investigate that crash site, of course. And we'll pull everything out here we can find. I very much... yeah. I don't think we'll get any more partisan uh, members. But we should be able to get something valuable. Ill. Really? Mm. You, you, you know what keeps happening whenever you say that. Yeah, but the game has said that we did get all of them now, though they might just be playing a prank on us with that. That or it's uh, just a... You got the that set amount of protestants now. Careful you are uh, halfway through uh, another achievement. For even more. There are mines here. Okay. Apparently this plane is important enough for them to put mines around it. That also means they've well kind of trapped themselves in a minefield. I'm here. Okay. Oh gosh, I used to run this. Something from uh, Discworld. Who? Oh. Uh, jokes that we've been kissing and talking about, about mines and all that. <clears throat> Apparently, a dwarf Watch miner. I repeat, dwarf miner. It's mine will serve the life. It's not allowed to drink until they're 200 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's about a, a joke that's as old as time as well. Yeah, dude, that was specific for miners, not miner. Miner. It's With me. Uh, yeah. They often knew what he was doing. Could have done without. He just took it to a new level. A mine. Okay. He would be spotted there, but let's see. Uh, no bottles with you. Okay. Yeah, a bottle the there should lure them away. Does someone need whacking? Okay, so we have one on patrol. Let's see. The snakes are moving yeah. in. Okay, he has a long line of sights. Hmm. Okay, he might be troublesome then if we try to grab that one. So, pick that back up. He's about to look this way. You.
Okay. Also, everyone reload again. Whoever may need it. Okay, only Zora needed to reload. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this... Hmm. Would be easiest to take him out first. Dangerously close. Careful oh. with mine. Hmm. Yeah, not not the best hiding spot there. Let's see. Might need to get into combat for this. I should have done better. Or wait, we can probably lure him over here. Let's see. Maybe, maybe we can even just lure him over his own, <laughs> over their own mines. So they probably have a uh -huh. well, an open path somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. I'm guessing we can probably pull like a machine gun off of the plane. You mean to make certain someone happy? <laughs> yeah, Fetisov already has two that he can play with. Uh-huh. Hmm. Don't, don't, don't play with guns. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think. Yeah, if he spots the if he spots the bottle there, also just massive line of sight on that guy. Uh, he's unless there's like an extra mine somewhere here, he won't set that off, and he's not interested. Okay, probably because it he'd have to cross a minefield to get to it. Okay. Let's clean these up then. A mine. Pretty risky. That was a dangerous task. Could have done without this. Okay. Yeah. Careful, there's a mine. Hmm. Can we lure that guy away? Hmm. I failed my duty. Yeah, they are, there are mines here. They're particularly the resistance against the allure of alcohol in this one. Hmm. So yeah, I think we will have to take this into combat. The enemy is close. And at least we can get the drop on them then. Okay. Right here. Let's see. Keep cool. Probably best if we get you behind the wheelbarrow. And Zoran behind the tractor. Hmm. Then again. You want to use the hmm. massacre? Yeah, we do have two uses of it. But that does mean that the moment we start uh, with that, we need to quiet. open up on these two. Okay. Wait, what matter could deal with all of them? Only the ones nearby. Hmm. Failed my duty. Death to fascists. Okay. 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 This now. That didn't go too bad. Yeah. We Staying didn't get to. Re oh, that is a. <laughs> what is that? Let's see. A Lewis gun. Okay. <laughs> A Wait. Wait, what, how, what are the what's the Soviet plane doing with a British gun? Everything's under control. 
Uh, also, who has the room for that thing? Uh, they, he hmm. has uh, both of them. Perhaps if you reorganize a little bit uh, on the bottom. Also, if we move some of these big things over here. Okay, yeah. You go grab that. So, I know what I'm doing. Uh, oh, another file. Uh, there. There. Okay, that's a big gun. Okay, walking? nothing else. Oh, well, some mines there. still. There was something. Are you sure? There are mines here. All right. Watch and learn. I'm Look, we have so many speed. mines. Okay, uh, but before we end... Uh, oh, it didn't count us, but it didn't remember us reading all of these. So let me just click through them quickly. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, you did reload earlier. Mm -hmm. E. I. Zelenko. On the 12th of September 1941, Ekaterina Zelenko was returning from a reconnaissance mission in her Su-2 plane. She was attacked over the town of Romney uh, by seven Messerschmitt BF-109 fighters. Despite the fact that the Su-2 was inferior to the enemy fighters in speed and agility, and her wingman was shot dead during the first attack, Zelenko made her stand. She shot one of the uh, she shot down one enemy Messerschmitt, and then, having run out of ammunition, rammed another by cutting its wing off with her propeller. She destroyed an enemy at the cost of her own life. In so doing, Ekaterina Ivan Ivanovna Zelenko became the first and so far only woman to perform an aerial ramming. Okay. Hmm. Not many female pilots of that era. Like I know there was there were the night witches, the night bombers, but hmm. I don't read about I have I haven't heard much about female fighter pilots of that era. Okay. Yeah. yeah not every enemy will react to this yet. <laughs> Just as I thought, the German commandant was informed of our activities. Colonel Mellenberg is preparing a counter-partisan operation. They have enhanced railroad security, chopped down forest, reinforced patrols. There's no way we can get anywhere near now. It is also said that a certain Frau Bertha is arriving at Krasnoselska station in a few days. Come again? Frau Bertha? Isn't that the cannon that Beermir blabbed about? It means they're moving her to Leningrad. Schlanker Bertha? Holy crap, I must report this immediately. Okay, I think we know our next target. <clears throat> oh we need a plan dear! To help stop that beast. The Germans have bumped up security along the railway. We'll only get one shot at this, but there's no way we can approach that line, let alone the bridge. As I said, a joint operation of army forces and partisan units is in the works. We know that Bertha will stop at Krasnoselska station and stay there for a while. An airstrike is planned on the station, but for that to happen, someone has to disable the anti-aircraft guns. Don't look at me. I'm not walking into their lair again. I haven't recovered from the last time. Why us, Commissar? We let ourselves get captured in Volkovo, remember? Your unit is the most experienced, the most skilled, and the most determined. You're clearly ready to sacrifice yourselves, even though it wasn't your smartest move back there in Volkovo. <laughs> this time, there's much more at stake than a handful of civilians. What you're saying is you don't have anybody else. All right. We'll wait for Bertha to roll in, and then take care of the necessaries. Okay. That sounds like it is going to be a full-on combat mission, but we'll still try to be as sneaky as possible. Okay, bunch of foods. Well, it feels like rather wise to be sneak as possible, to at least even the odds. Yeah. Nikitin's uh, agents report that the Germans reinforced the patrols around the station. That's not good. Heavy rains have turned the roads into mud. The Germans are stuck on their way to Moscow. It's time to push back. Incidents? 
The night was so cold that nobody could sleep. We'll need to insulate our dugouts during whatever, uh, using whatever we have in store. Okay, so winter is coming. The commandant of the transmit camp uses prisoners to train her war dogs. Too bad we didn't have a chance to get rid of him during the escape. Well, there'll be another opportunity. Yeah, I, th I think I might know who that's me yeah, meaning or that means. Yeah. yeah, and also the storks are always right eventually. <laughs> Let's see. Not seeing anything about reinforcing the place. <clears throat> I should learn some. I've been watching some Game Room videos of late. Like, is there a good lore as that touch? Your pity was not able to finish the books before they finished the seasons. Yeah, this because that just improvise. went <laughs> that went right off the deep end. Yeah, dude, they had to improvise and have a and two directors were promised by Disney by something. Which made them rush through it to get that job, which they did not get due to how badly that season went. Yes, a, a bit like how Embracer Group got the quote-unquote promise that they would get bought out by uh, some Saudi Arabia group or something. So they started buying up companies, uh, developer companies left and right uh, in plain sight, thinking that they could get a higher buying price from that. But when the Saudis noticed, oh, they're, they're buying more and more, so it's going to cost us more and more. Uh, yeah, no thanks, we're not buying. Oh, uh, bloody heck. It's self-sabotage. Yeah. Okay. Zorin. And I wish they watched see. the lore videos for the books all have been here rather good. And it's kind of nice to... Uh, uh, learned a, a bit of new lore, universes, and all that. Okay. I haven't got them understanding now why they keep calling the long winters the long winters. Because they take years or something? It, it, if I remember right, it's actually the name for the... an ice age. Okay, yeah, that explains a thing or two then. This probably explains what they say uh, when the winters last for several years. So it's not a... Yeah, it's a small ice age. This has happened in real life. But uh, apparently in that world, it happens a bit more... quote unquote semi-regularly. Okay. Let's see, more is off. It's close to a level. Bet this off is mean, decently uh, it, close. It will take a few centuries before the next one happens. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go for this one first. You two. And... You. Okay. <clears throat> we can always use more mines, even though we already have dozens, I think. Yeah. Let's see. You... And nope. you... Using one mine to take out five soldiers without using ammunition is not bad. Plus, they just keep planting so many more for us to collect. <laughs> yeah. And okay. as usual, we shall always be on top of the food. Okay. Oh, already mission day. Okay. <laughs> the conga line. It's arrived. Berta is at Krasnoskelska station. At last. We don't have much time, so I'll be brief. This task will be our most challenging so far. But I'm sure that after Bogachevo, the prison, and the comm station, we're capable of handling our next task as well. Remember, Moscow counts on us. If we're involved in this operation, it's bound to succeed. Hmm. Okay. Let's see the reports. All of these successful, from the looks of it. And yes, yeah, Slender Bertha. The center is planning an airstrike on the station. <laughs> To destroy the cannon known as Slender Bertha, but first we must sneak in uh, to sa Okay, sneak in. 
Okay, that immediately puts you two forwards. <clears throat> yep, and let's see if we have about 20 minutes remaining. Yeah. Okay. Now, what, did, did you forget the time? Nope. Let's see. Yeah, the, for me, Overrides. for me, and when I looked a moment ago at the time, you felt like, really? We had been pl playing already for that long? <laughs> yeah, I have been glancing up at the clock a few times. So, yeah, we'll at least get a start on this mission. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I, I said it. I, I can uh, suppress how well uh, we're handling through our streams. To... Again, we do them in a bloody afternoon. Yeah. I okay. feel like, uh, have we been doing like the first time we tried to do an almost full hour stream, we did it more towards the evening? And we were both falling asleep almost? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Actually, let me check one more thing in the weapon workshop here. Uh, yes, you can. What can we put on this shotgun? Let's see. Reinforced spring. 10% extra crit chance for 45. Increased damage by 20%. Okay, that's already... <laughs> it's already 40 to 100, so that's even more on that. And increased hit chance by 10%. Hit chance is probably something we should put on basically all of our weapons, since it also save us on, on the ammo and such. Yeah, the less you miss, the less you spend. Wait, does... Wait, that, that does make sense, right? Yep. Okay. Get this off. Can we actually do that with these? Okay, no available upgrades for heavy machine guns. Makes Probably sense since... Best. Well, they already... Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, uh... the reason I'm... Feeling really a bit weirded out from the sense probably because it sounds like I'm talking about money. This is this is not money we loading the guns with. Yeah, but there's it's st certainly still a currency you want to have plenty of. Yeah. Let's see, fire rate of 119, 20 meters max distance, 12 meters of effective distance. Okay. Uh, let's see. Weapon reload by 15%. Okay. Hmm. We probably should give you, Gramps, a shotgun. There. Oh, apparently we can't swap that around in this. Okay. Actually, how many are we sending on this mission? Just three, again. Which I am getting a little bit annoyed with that we can only send three people out. Yeah, <clears> especially <throat> so we've been able to see we can have a full, up to five people on one mission. Yeah. Even though the fourth one was most spent carrying the fifth. <laughs> so, yeah, it was more for operational or there are four people who could actually do things and the fifth one who was basically just a, a mule and still getting carried around by others <laughs> okay I don't think that's what actually mean a package <laughs> package mule wait I think I said that wrong Okay. Oh, is it back, back at you? Uh, guess. Let's see. Let's put those away. We'll keep one with just in case. Uh, hmm. There and there. Mines, bottles, basic medical supplies. Mm hmm. Let's see. Ammo. And there. Okay, that should be good for you. Ammo for you. I'm pretty sure just one stack is plenty. 
since, well, we haven't actually fired shotguns that much, even. Uh, Bottles. Really, something I've been thought about, think about ever since the start of this stream. Oh? I feel like we have missed an opportunity. For... We could give me one of those fluffy hats. <laughs> Yeah, we could still take a look at those, but I, I don't know how much longer we have in this game. It's yeah, but now since we're doing the, uh, these these games for such more hours, the amount of episodes will probably be less. We should be getting closer. Do if we? What the heck? Have we done this with uh, two hours regular? We. Yeah. Yeah, it will, it will uh, take probably a few months. Okay, I'm actually going to do a quick look on how long to beat. Uh, I think we did take a look there before, but just to have another look. The station is big. You need a whole division to capture it. And that means three partisans. All right. <laughs> our task is to clear up the skies for our planes. We have to disable two AA guns on the platform. If the Germans raise the alarm, our mission will have failed, which means that gun won't be destroyed. Next, the whole of Bertha's engine crew must be eliminated. We can't afford them to haul the gun to safety at the last moment. Once everything is done, we'll send a message to our comrades from the local comm station. Then, last but not least, we have to evacuate before all hell breaks loose. Let's do it. Yeah, we'd Just rather not be up. here when the bombs f start falling. Yeah, and now we know it's going to be one of those missions where we should not be detected. Yeah, so uh -huh. everyone swap over. I'm all ears. And yeah, according to how long to beat here, it says that the main story of this game should it's only take game. 17 and a half hours. So, but it is it is colored in a way that they don't have too many reports on it, so it's very inaccurate. Yeah, might be a speedrunner or someone who's been very good at it doing this. For let's be honest, we had done a few, done a few reloads. Yeah, let me. Let's see. It looks like we have only way one. Yeah, we have only one exit to this place. Oh, or I not? I do hope. I really hope that the uh, ah. final missions will be able to use all the members. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you have a very long line of sight. Okay. Yeah, he, he has like 50% extra sight on where he would act, act, actively spot us. Okay. No, no using mines to get rid of them, because that would alert everything. Yeah, we have been able to do that on that other mission, so just fine. But yeah, as here long as I do feel like nearby. Yeah, though, with this mission is, is probably if they get alerted, it's over. Yeah. So yeah, no playing with the high explosives. Or at least as long as anyone nearby, yeah, as long as there's anyone nearby who can alert anything. Uh, yeah, a dog. Let's see. No, not that group, but there's a dog over there, yeah. Let's see. Damage first gun, damage second. Oh, okay, it actually shows the de detection line on the dog as long as it's in sight. Nice. Okay. And I just noticed the patrol that went past us. Yep. They were all yellow rank. Yep. Calm down. Okay. Let's see, there's a power box there, but there's no easy way to get to it without going around. Okay. I'll put, uh, oh, watch out. I know that because it's basically the same as the Dutch word for watch out or pussin. Easy now. You have to say that again? Or pussin. 
It's gonna take me a while. But I think for my brain rich is that you're talking about a, a opossum. <laughs> Can you blame me? Pretty sure he'd get spotted by the patrol if we keep him at the corner there. Okay, might be best if we work through this place from right to left or east to. Uh, from south to north. Yeah, red. <clears throat> if the red points to north, then yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I always get somewhat confused by compasses. Yeah. Okay. Let's wait for them to pass by again. So that dog patrol we'll probably have to leave alone. Hmm. Calm down. Yeah, this is a stealth sabotage mission, not I'll take out the entire base. Yeah. We'll hmm. actually hide in the corner for a bit there. Yep, patrol. Okay. Let's see. Uh-huh. Mm. Careful now. There, just oh, slip on me. by, mounted gun. I just remember something I uh, forgot to tell you. Oh. They finally announced where they will air Ark the series. And that'll be where? Apple TV. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm happy they finally announced it that it's still in the, gonna be released, but I'm not happy it's on Apple TV. Like. Had it been like HBO, Netflix, Disney Plus, I would understand, but... Does... How many even watch it on Apple TV? Yeah, with how many streaming services there are, I just lost interest because it's basically become the same thing it was <laughs> supposed to replace. One. It's just cable TV, and that you need to pay for every bloody thing. And even when you pay for something, there's just as good a chance that they'll just pull it from the service. Uh, <laughs> and all for greed. Like, yeah. have, like, have it been like free stream services? Fine. But it keeps pulling up new one all the time. Yeah, so it just, it's just no value to go for any singular one anymore. Yeah, and the first there's many free ones, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm unsure if I would trust the free ones. What's up? Calm down. I've heard decent good of one called uh, Tubi or something. You do get a deal with... Uh, Ads throughout and such, but nothing, uh, yeah, too bad at least. Now, calm down. Okay, still a bit annoyed with the lights here and there, but oh well. No. Let's see who we can lure out when we mess with the power. Nobody? Okay. Dangerously close. Keep cool. Easy now. It, really, nobody cares about the lights going out. <laughs> Quickly. It's a bit safer than just standing in front of windows. Oh, oh now someone cares. Who has a dog? 
I thought it saw someone carrying a big uh, uh, rocket launcher. Okay. They realize, no, that's the dog. Let's do it again. But this time, we take care of them before down. they start to mess with that. Okay. Yep. Okay, there's a gap in the fence, apparently, as well. Okay. It's mine. That's going to make it much easier uh -huh. to deal with these guys. Okay. As long as we can avoid the patrol. Get down. Yeah, making it darker mm. is definitely an advantage for us, but that damn dog is definitely an, still an issue. Yeah, there is the whole tobacco thing that we can use to disorient them, but I don't know how much that would really work or how much that would really affect things. So we really should bring that, we really should use that at some point sooner or later. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess it, that makes sense for. Let's be honest. Many soldiers did smoke during that era and in the trenches. Yeah, a lot of people just in general. And some of them promoted it to be healthy. Meanwhile, there has been documented proof that they knew, many of them knew for quite a while how bad it was for your health uh, to smoke yeah. it. Yeah, they are the smoking companies, you mean then? Yeah. Uh, because profits will always be a higher priority than the lives of, well, the actual people who do the, you know, who pay them for the damn stuff. Like, just look at Boeing. Tread lightly. Who? Yeah, Boeing has been getting more and more in the news, uh, which is bullshit and such, like... <clears throat> and also a, a whistleblower just recently... <clears throat> committed quote-unquote suicide after, well, testifying and everything, so yeah, people are not buying that at all. What was the dog alert by there for a sec? Down. Oh dear. So yeah, a very good chance that Boeing has just gone from a yeah, aircraft company to basically a criminal organization at this point with that. He's going down. Oop. Calm down. Oh, down now we remember side. who you mean. Okay, not instant fail. Wait. Huh? Okay, don't let yourself be found. Okay, so... So we... Alerts we, is possible... Uh, as long as they don't actively uh, start an alarm or something. Uh -huh. So I guess um, I got lucky there. Okay, no, no, is it? Mm. Can we use the mice or not? This is the question then. Like, I think, like, slash hope, uh, we can. Realistically, using mice would be stupid for, again, it's loud. But game mechanically? Come on, plant it. Smells like trouble. Why did he not? Okay, just wait for him to move away a bit. His, his cone of view is glitching a bit. Okay, run. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, he's the Zoran man. <laughs> well, I, I guess there's also the fact that we kind of need to go loud to blow these things up. So, yeah, just any alerts would be... Uh, any alert being a game over would be a bit too much. Yeah, a bit of a contradiction. And apparently they don't even, they don't even care enough to raise an alert at that. Okay. okay. I can see why some would probably criticize this part. 
more of a, it kind of... Thanks for holding this for me. Please, a lot of contradictions. Like, the way they in talked about the in intro of the mission, it sounded like you were... That they you using any loud sound would be stupid. Yeah. That's the timer, so let me just grab my knife, my loot. But it also means that we can, well, plant a bomb to deal with the fast patrol. Yeah. So, suddenly, this mission has become a bit easier. Yeah. But a for now, bit easier. New save. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and dear. With the menu. <clears throat> okay. And yes, at complete opposite ends, these two. And he's almost not even visible in the darkness here. This makes sense since, well, he's basically <laughs> our assassin. <laughs> but yeah, I do get the feeling that we might be. I think we're at least in the third act of the game. Like two thirds, the last third, the last quarter of the game. Since we'll yeah. take now just a big piece of artillery is going to be a big operation. Mm. Oh, but yeah, yeah I, uh, go ahead. I was saying, I'm agreeing with you. I think we indeed are getting closer to the end. Yes. Probably <laughs> thanks to doing these longer streams as well. Yeah, that is. There's also one thing that is tripping me up a bit is that there isn't really an expected uh, end point with this since uh, yeah we are not going to we're not going to be playing like four full years of this like maybe there would be a time skip at some point maybe at the end to a time skip to the end of the war but yeah I very much doubt we're actually going to move into 1942 and other years of the war. <clears throat> but yeah. For now though, before we end the stream, let's go look for someone to raid. It isn't too busy it seems. So let me change over the screen share. Change windows, Twitch, live. Now let's have ourselves a look. We have Sipsco Gaming Guild who are playing Barony. Cobalt Bursasan, okay, 12 hour stream. Okay, we are not going for that anytime soon without, well, real long planning. Yeah, and br pr actual breaks. Yeah. Uh, then we have Dr. Misunderstood with Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Xenavia with Ocean Permit. <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil and bubble. Really? <laughs> so, uh, let me take a quick Troy? peek at that. Muted, yes. Potion Permit. Potion, I think I've heard of... Oh, it's this game. Yeah, I've, uh, I've heard of this game. Uh, that its gameplay is rather shallow. Like, there's no real risks and such, or something like that. Uh, next we have WBPL playing Mech Warrior Online. Messiah Rosier with Celeste. Kiri Natsuyoko with Diablo 2. Okay. Uh, Kevin I with Unicorn Overlord. And then we have K9 with Helldivers 2, and last but not least, Horatius the Dwarf, who is playing Dark and Darker again. At last I heard that game is still in some legal, lim legal limbo, but at least it can be bought and played again. Hmm. Hmm. Any of those you would suggest? Or shall we, well, look at recommended? Or just let me take a pick. Hmm. Has it been a while since we raided Karolai? Uh, Karolai, Karolai. It has been, I think. Yeah, let's go say hi then. And you can also tell me a bit about this Unicorn Overlord game, what the hell it may I, be. I actually looked at the review of it and I'm gonna buy it. Like, it's, okay. it's all about 3 gig in size. All right, then. <clears throat> it does cost uh, about 60 euro, but... Three gigs in size, I feel like, all right, at least it will not take to forever to download. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, it's your money to use and spend. Uh, let's see, it is the Steam Spring Sale, so I'll probably be adding a bit to my library as well, but not as much as in previous ones. But, yeah. <clears throat> For now, though, uh, yeah, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, any lurkers. Let's see, Sensei is lurking. <laughs> and thank you, as always, Drakir. Welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for watching us on Twitch or on YouTube. Yeah, I, I have been getting better with, well, getting the uploads done or sent that uh, lately. I still need to process a bunch on the main channel, but the, well, the, I'll call it the episodes channel. I've been uh, keeping up pretty well with that, especially since I now render the, uh, the box on the other computer, so it leaves me with a lot more processing power on, well, here for to do stuff with. <clears throat> but... Uh, yeah, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll prob yeah. tomorrow we'll probably do the, uh, we'll, yeah. Tomorrow we would typically have a Showcase Sunday, but we are a bit low on games with that. Like, the only thing we have to, to do with that mostly is, yeah, console and handhelds. So we're taking a bit of a break with that. Maybe good chance that we'll just put it on a uh, bi-weekly again. But we'll see about that. So instead, we'll uh, yeah at the usual time for a showcase, or at least from 2 p.m. probably, we'll be doing uh, whatever other game we'll be playing, which is likely going to be Hard Space Shipbreaker for a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> and I feel like four hours will, on that will feel like we are doing some progress. Yeah. Okay. But for now then, let's get that raid actually started. There we go, no blocks. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, sleep well, and watch over undead seagulls. And uh, slender birth up. <laughs> <laughs> oh gods.